and get started on said Loch Ness monster finding. So let's do that. Hang on, click some buttons here, there it is. We will resume the gameplay as the sun is just now rising. Hey, over there, I see you. So I added a couple mods to the game. Now that we've beaten the Loch Ness, uh, the, the Broodmother, I figured we could add a few mods and uh, let's check this out. So, in here, you guys, I've got some new recipes I'll show you. Um, some are pretty simple, but not available in the vanilla game, but I kind of wanted them to just add to my experience. Let me see if I can find them. They must all be down at the bottom. Hold on. Hopefully I did this correctly. Yeah, here we go. Look, guys, animal graveyard. We can now actually, we can actually bury our dead. Not physically pick them up and bury them, but we can actually make plot sites with gravestones. Several to choose from here. And the engrams are these are for free. I also got some fencing. I thought fencing would be pretty cool, like rails. Um, I don't know. I just thought rails are missing from the game, and I want rails, so I downloaded a rails mod. And, of course, we've got baby dino mods down here. Now, I'll have to put in a cheat code to get these engrams because I'm at the max level, so we'll have to do that. In fact, we can go ahead and just do that now. Why not? You guys can see the console command for how to get all the engrams. It is uh, cheat. Okay, so they let you know that you're cheating. So cheat, and I think it's uh, give in grams? Question mark? Not, don't put the question mark. I'm questioning myself. I don't think that was it, or it would have just shown up on the screen. I might have misspelled it. Hang on, real quick. Uh, let's try that again. Cheat. Oh, that's chat. That is the problem. Cheat. Uh, give. And I'm pretty sure it's in grams, all one word. I don't think it's working. I don't think it's working. Did it work? Did it work? Did we get all those engrams? Hey, hey, it worked. It worked. Cool. We got them all. We got them all. Maybe it's because we're in third person mode right now. It didn't show them all pop up on the screen. So we can actually hatch our eggs with these two items here and make nests for them and have baby dinosaurs everywhere. That's right. That's what we could do now. But I do see something over there. I also added a mod for... Is the damn volume on? No, it's just quiet in my headphones. Hang on. Do something like that. There we go. Um, I also added an engram for improved dinosaurs. So we can now find dinosaurs with rare color patterns and rare dinosaurs. Same dinosaurs, but like bo almost like boss versions of them. Like better than alphas, I think. Plus, there's going to be some dinosaurs with some cool colors. And I do have some tranks on me, and I do believe I just spotted a raptor. We're missing one for the zoo, so maybe we could trank this little fella here. Okay, completely miss. Whatever we want to do. Trank this little fella here before we even get started on the Loch Ness. Is he stuck on something? What are you doing? He should be. Yeah, he's stuck on the log right there. Lucky us. Let me kill these dilos first, because you know. I think they're stuck on logs, too. This is great news. So we got a cool raptor here, and we'll just tame him and get him in the zoo. It might be one of the rare new colors because there's never a raptor spawn right here. Sorry about that. Game has its moments where it stutters. Sleep, my child. Sleep. For soon you'll be part of the zoo and all the kids can come and pet you. Oh, there it goes. Down she goes. What color is this? Well, this is interesting. Is this? Do you think this is one of the new color? Is this purple? Oh, if I know purple and black, that's kind of cool looking. I don't, I don't know if that would be one of the ones, but there, take all this. Have fun, little fella, and don't wake back up. Now you two, before you cause any trouble, I'm going to murder you both. Oh, they're coming in hot. Here we go. All right, death, death, death. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty raptor. I don't know. Do you guys think that's a, a normal color raptor? Uh, you know, I have problems with my colors, but that doesn't seem very normal to me. Purpling black, I likes. I like it a lot. I did see some uh, Arvidages in the mountain with like like a rainbow color on them. I'm like, what in the hell? Look like a bag of Skittles flying around in the air. I want that thing. I need it. It's like reddy purple. So like a reddish purple color. All right, cool. How long is this thing going to take to tame? I don't have any prime, so it's not going to be a great tame, but whatever. All right, so we should eat right at 10, 1510. And we'll see what one piece of raw does. If it takes a long time, I'll hop on a shark and go swim around and get some prime. But let's just see. Because I have times 10 taming one, so tames don't take long. It's a level 28 too, so it's not a huge level. 
Um, it's a male. There we go, just eight. Ah, this won't take long at all, so we'll just hang out around here for a minute, and then we'll go on our Loch Ness uh, find. Don't act like that's the first time I've killed one of those, game. How dare you? I've killed many of those. So what I was thinking is that I've already got everything on the shark for the hunt today. All the um, narcotics, arrows that I think I'll need. Uh, a couple of fires in case we do find an underwater cave. We can go in there and get warm. I've got some cooked meat, some raw meat. And once we find the Loch Ness, I've got all my scuba gear. Once we find the Loch Ness, I'll swim my shark off to a safe distance, dismount the shark, and then go in with the crossbow and arrow and my scuba gear on, trank it, then we'll use our shark to go around and kill other sharks to get prime to feed it. That's how we're doing it. And with the times 10 tame, it won't take long. We don't need kibble for anybody who's about to suggest it because of times 10 taming. Yes, kibble would still be faster, I get that, but it's not a, it's not a slow process when you have the thing on times 10 for the love of God. For the love of God, I tamed like a Barontosaurus in 20 minutes with berries. Is this the beta or is this the beta or alpha? This is just, this is, I don't know. This is a game on Steam. Is it, it's early access is what they call it. It's definitely not alpha. I'd say it's better than beta too, but it's not the full product. The developers are constantly updating the game, putting in new dinosaurs, adding um, optimization to the game to make it run smoother, lighting, new models, all kind of stuff. Like at least once a week you get an update. Most of the times you get multiple updates per week. So yeah, it's not a finished product. I'd say it's a beta, but they're, they're dubbing it an early access game, whatever that means. You can find it on Steam. Uh, it is eventually going to come to console. I believe Xbox One has been confirmed to be getting this. Oh yeah, look guys. I broke my freaking shoes and my, my uh, gauntlets and I have... They don't match. That sucks. And I don't know what I did with them. It's like I broke them and then just lost them. I tamed a second shark too off cam. I also took the original shark, Sharknado, out for a test drive and leveled it up quite a bit. Because I don't want a weak shark down there with me. We're going to have to collect Prime... It's got to be with able to uh, to stand withstand some attacks down there. So I think we tamed it at a seven, something pathetic like that. I think it's close to fifty now. So we got a decent shark. I missed a sub. How did I miss a sub? It didn't go off on my screen. I got the thing hooked up and everything. Who did I miss? Everyone, calm down. Okay, just calm your tits. Calm your tits. We're we gonna calm tits today, or are we just all gonna be repeating the same thing here? Let's let's just calm it down. Let's calm it down. Let's see what I missed. Going through. Going through. Going through. Don't see the sub. Must have been a while ago. Hang on. Tell about a sub that was offline, guys? I can't help that. I mean, I wasn't online. Did I miss something just now? What do you want me to do? Be here when I'm offline? That doesn't even make sense to me. I don't see a new sub. Did someone just sub? If someone just subbed, please announce yourself, and I will give you a shout-out. Obviously, I'll know if you're a new sub, so <laughs> don't be a jerk and say stuff that's not true. This thing is awesome looking. Look at the sun shining on it. That is definitely one of the rare dinosaur colors, or improved dinosaurs. This is not a rare one. Otherwise, it would say something over his name like Super Mega Raptor or some crap. Okay, guys, well, if somebody subbed when I was offline, what do you want me to do about that? I know Desquica, I, I actually uh, saw that, and I put in the comments, uh, or in the chat, thanks for subscribing, but I think maybe you had already left, because I was still here doing some work, even though I was off stream, and I did see it pop up, and I said thanks, but I guess maybe you left the chat, but hey, thanks, my friend. Thanks, Desquica. Welcome to Lagging and Pals, my friend. This thing is about to, uh, a couple more pieces of meat ought to be good, then we'll take it back home with us. So thank you, thank you. Do I have any tips on recording with an iPad? Do you have any tips to recording with an iPad with a broken? That's not a fully structured question there, my friend. I'm with, uh, no? I don't have an iPad, so no. Even if it was something I understood, the answer would be no. I don't have any tips with iPad stuff, sorry. I want this Raptor too, look at this thing, man. Now that the sun's shining on it, this is definitely one of the ones from the improved Dino mod. Also within that mod, there is a rare dino. I think they're just like better than alphas, just stronger, give you more of a challenge, but with all of the species. So like we could find a rare raptor 
or a rare, well, there's already alpha raptors. That's a totally horrible example, but maybe like a rare dodo, right? That's just like crazy and tries to kill me and succeeds. We'll find out. But they're rare, hence the name. But these things, this color is not. I think we can find plenty of these guys throughout the year. We might have to retain some animals if these are the kind of colors we're going to get. That's awesome. It is awesome. Go fight that OB slip gator stream, though. I'm disappointed lagging. What? What happened there? Oh, that fight. That fight. Yeah, so the other day, me and my buddy Phil and Swifty decided we were going to play um, in the, what the hell is it called? Uh, Survival of the Fittest tournament here on ARC, which is like, of course, you guys know or don't know, but it's like Hunger Games, basically, but for ARC. Very small map, and the borders shrink, and it forces the action to the center. Well, it was our first time ever playing. I'm just going to take it home. We'll name it later, guys. Uh, look at this freaking thing, dude. Oh, my God. That's beautiful. Yes! You don't have a raptor like this. That's for damn sure. Do I need to break this for you? Are you healed up? Healed up. Okay. There we go. Come on. Let's go home. Rapity the raptor. We're going to have to build a pin with it for him today. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's definitely not a normal color in the game. That's straight up purple as hell. I love that. So we were doing it, and I guess there's this... Uh, really popular YouTuber and streamer, and you know, you'll have to forgive me for not knowing his name, but anytime I need like tips on ARC, I you know, go to YouTube, type in my question, and this dude's videos always pop up. I didn't even know we were in the same tournament as him, right? So he's in there with his crew, and we get my, my crew versus his crew getting a gigantic arrow fight. Uh, Phil and Swifty die in the arrow fight. Um, I killed somebody, but it was before his tribe got to us, so I don't think it was part of his tribe. But I killed somebody uh, in my first game, so I was excited about that. But then him and all his buddies come up, and they wreck Phil and Swifty and, my, and, and get me pretty injured. And I run off and hide in the shadows because it's at nighttime. And as they're sorting through their gear, I then run up to them, and I'm out of weapons and everything. I just start punching them all in the face, and then they murdered me. And that was my experience on Survival of the Fittest against some sort of YouTuber or streamer with like 400,000 subs who who obviously just has ARC on lockdown. Because like I said, anytime I search anything, it seems to always be his videos that pop up. So uh, I rewatched his stream today, and I instantly recognized the voice. I'm like, wait a minute. I think I watched this dude's like tutorials and crap. I don't know his name, though. I'm so sorry. But he, he, it was pretty awesome. Okay, I'll name it Blooper. Yeah, I am going to. I did promise you I'd, na I'd name one Blooper. That's right. And look at this thing. Look at the colors on this. Look at this freaking colors. Look at this. I like. I likes. We'll have to make a pin for it. I don't know what section he belongs in, really. Certainly doesn't seem like he belongs in this section of the zoo. That section's full. He might go over there with the uh, the bigger guys. Maybe, or we'll put him next to the bird exhibit. We'll, we'll get because he's sort of a bird. He got feathers. He's not really a bird at all. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. How do I do anything on this game again? Change name. Okay. We'll name it Bloop. Or er, blooper. We'll just go blooper. There's blooper. The purple raptor. See you later, pal. Buddy. Chum. And if you missed, of course, we did defeat the brood mother. There's our reward. The flag of a thousand flags flies high above Lag and Lagoon here. Indicating to all that wander across my lands that I killed a crazy alien arachnid all by myself with my bare hands and then our plant here all right let's go we've got things to do we got to go find this we got to go find this thing today now there's no guarantee i'll find one but i'm going to try you guys and they're only down at the depths of the ocean all the way at the bottom and you cannot lure them to the surface so it's mandatory to either have these things close to a cave where you can continuously get oxygen or you need to have the scuba gear and i just refreshed my scuba gear so i have a full tank of oxygen should last for quite some time, and I do mean quite some time. This stuff is great, great. I don't need these pearls can go. Why the hell do I have spoiled meat? Oh yeah, because we were taming just then. All right, get rid of the chitin. I'm, the wood is actually important, that's good to have. Uh, thatch can go away. Okay, let's roll. Let's roll, everybody. So here's Sharknado, you guys will remember uh, Sharknado, and then we've got Tuna over here is my new guy. So we've got Tuna and Sharknado. Sharknado's been upped. Killer Croc and, of course, Fish Sticks over there. Now we're going to try to add ourselves a Loch Ness Monster. A Nessie. It's actually got a real name. And on, on, to, on um, um, what the hell is a shark? Sharknado here. I've got 95 Narcotic. Who knows if that'll be enough. A couple campfires. Should we find an underwater kit? It's a Pleosaur is what they're actually called. And I went ahead and made the saddle, which was a pain in the ass. It was 400 hide... 
like 300 fiber, like none of that's a big deal. But then it got to like 70 freaking cement paste. And I think it was upwards of 60 or 70 pearls as well to make the saddle. So it's an expensive saddle, not a fun one to make. So wish me luck. I don't know how to tame these things either, which is horrible. Like I know you shove prime in them, but I don't even, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to swim fast enough to keep a safe distance to trank it. I don't, hopefully we just find one by a cave. So I think what we should do actually guys is go over by Carno Island because there is an underwater cave there. And let's just check there first. We could get totally lucky, find one over by Carno Island. There's also another island where I know that there's a cave behind it, so maybe we'll check there as well. If we don't find one in either one of those spots, then we're just going to randomly search for one undersea, and we will then uh, do our best to trank it. I think tranking it's going to be the biggest deal here. It's going to be tough. What level uh, do you get a Carno saddle? Like, it's pretty high up there. I think it's 45, Morto. I think it's 45. I can shove Prime and Ulagan? Well, I guess you can. I'll allow it, Ray. You may do it. This is a beautiful shark, isn't it? It's nice. I can't wait to see some cool sharks with new colors on them, though. Like, what if there is a pink and lime green shark? That's almost like stop everything you're doing and tame that SOB. And there's a lot of mods. There's like a naked mod where we can just walk around with our dingling swaying, but I don't think I'm going to do that one. That's just ridiculous. There's a bunch. So I'm going to add a few over time. Um, there's also a whole new map. I think once we tame all of the animals, right, for our zoo, which we're getting close to, very close. We've beaten the uh, we've beaten the broodmother. We're going to get all the animals tamed, and that'll pretty much wrap this series. What I could do is download the new map, which is a chain of small islands as opposed to one large island. And that could be a fun way to play it as well. And add just, and just, just do a huge chunks of mods just mods on top of mods and just make it a super modded adventure that we could have new weapons new armor all kind of cool stuff like we can have the star wars armor we can run around looking like a, a stormtrooper you know so there's there's things we could do to make this fun i was thinking about doing some survival of the fittest on stream pretty soon and i will be starting back up the forest made an announcement on twitter i'm gonna give the forest another chance okay if it's not completely broken it's been several months since i've played it so a lot of the stuff could be fixed on it that was annoying me. So let's hope for that. And we'll be streaming some of the forest pretty soon as well. What's up with these Rexes here? What you guys doing? They won't attack me, I don't believe. They won't, they won't like, come after the Megalodon. But if I stand up and start, like, trying to get their attention, they'll come over to me. And this is how I was leveling up my shark. Now we just get back on the shark. The shark will take all the damage. Hopefully these aren't big guys. I didn't even check. I'm just going to watch my health real quick. But yeah, this is how I leveled up the shark. You see? Smart guy lagging over here, leveling up his creatures by luring them to the mouth of the beast. And just like that, we're leveled up again. So we've got a lot of melee damage. Let's give some health to it. Let's give some health. All right. So we're going to go to this cave here, and let's see. I just got to get lined up on the back of this island. It's the only way I know how to find it. Come directly to the back of the small island on Carno Island. We're going to want to go straight down from here as soon as the game unfreezes. There we go. And you're looking for, like, a tall almost pointy rock that's not it there it is there it is right in front of us you're gonna go down to the left of that all right and it's just gonna be off in this direction over here just off in this direction right in between these two right here we'll see some bubbles and we can park our shark in here if we find a pleosaur is that what the hell we decided they're called yeah this is the cave right here coming up so this would be a great place to set up campfire for when I get cold down here. But you can see the bubbles here, so this is how you get to the cave. And you can actually, I think, lure a Loch Ness Monster in here. Let's see, there's a cave. So we can always come out and get oxygen should we run out of... So it would be ideal to get one of these bastards around here. Now, we could find one and lure them over here. Could work. But it takes forever for the oxygen tank to run out. Yesterday, it wasn't even showing me a meter on my oxygen tank, which I thought was pretty weird. Today, it is, so... It's not going down at all. That's great. So we'll just swim around here and hopefully we can find one. Lure them back closer to the cave and maybe trank them around that cave. I think that'd be the best bet anyways. But I'm not seeing any. The only place you can find them is deep, deep, deep. And they will not surface. Otherwise, you could just lure them to a beach. No problem. And trank them. But that's not how it works. They've made it a little more challenging to get these guys. They are probably the coolest. Well, they're definitely the coolest aquatic dinosaur in the game. It may be the coolest dinosaur of them all. Undecided. 
All right, there doesn't seem to be any in this direction. Maybe we should go the other direction from the cave before we get too far away from it. How's everyone doing, by the way? Enjoying your holiday? Oh, there's a shark. No shark, you don't want any of this. I can assure you of that, friend. Ooh, we're like twins, eh? Except I got white stripes and you don't. You're dead. My Megalodon is a bit overpowered at this point, I think. I think I haven't run into any high-level Megalodons. They're all like... They seem like they're all like 15 or lower. Which is great for my level... What is he, 50 now? 40-something? What level is this? 47? I mean, that's great for me. I think he just two-chomped two, two T-Rexes. This must have been some really low-level T-Rex. I should work on his stamina, though. As you can see, it does run out of energy pretty quick. Uh, good, just doing schoolwork. Yeah, right? That's fun. That's always fun. I'm doing great. Thank you for asking super green name that I cannot read. All right, Shadow. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate you being a huge fan. Supporters are awesome, and you're one of them. So thank you very much. Oh, Blooper, you've been um, you've been busy playing Ark. I can't blame you for missing my streams, Ark. Ark is a highly addictive game. It's so addictive. All right, here's the cave again. So we're going to go in this direction, see if we can find one off over here somewhere. If not, uh, I mean, we might as well stay super low and try to make our way to the other island where I know of another cave. Maybe we'll find some over there. Like, see, it would just be great if one was just, like, right around here somewhere. We could easily lure him into our trap of death. And eventually they're going to put... What's wrong with my character? He's hungry. I can't eat underwater. I do have to surface right now. Uh, actually, we can just go to the cave and eat. I think that'll probably be quicker. Um, they're going to put more di water dinosaurs. So I think it's going to be good to have this this uh, pleosaur. And forgive me if that's not the name. I'll look in a second. Um, because it's pretty much... I guess it would be like the T-Rex of the underwater, I suppose. So it's going to be good to have because they, they've shown dossiers of a couple of new aquatic animals that haven't quite made it into the game yet. When they're here, they're going to cause some fits for the current animals that are underwater. So it'll be good to have that Pleosaurus, we're going to just call it. What is it called? What are you called? It is called, judging by my saddle, which I have lost, because it is in, it's in you, isn't it? It is called, yeah, Pleosaur. Please, Plesiosaur. Sorry, Plesiosaur. There's an I and an O and everything. Plesiosaur. Please. Oh, sir. Oh, let's eat some more food. It didn't fill us up, apparently. Well, I mean, if you want your PvP fix, I think you're going to see me do, like, Survival of the Fittest. That's where you'll see me do PvP stuff. Um, I was thinking about getting a server together, a password-protected server for subs, people that I trust. Because it only takes, like, a couple... You know, it only takes someone with a bad attitude to ruin it for everybody else. I've seen it on... A, I've seen it firsthand, and I've heard about it in a couple of different servers as well, so... Uh, you know, I'm trying to have fun, positive vibes, you know, good times. So, yeah, if we do if we do a PvP uh, private server, I think it'll be an all... Uh, good good taste, and everyone will have a good time. Dude, there could be one right in front of us here. There could, there's a couple of shots... Yes! There is one right there, guys! Hang on! I'm out of stamina, but if we can get this thing to lock in on us. I think it's got a friend with it, too. So there are two right here. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. Okay, come back this way. Follow me. We got we got a couple on our six, guys. We got a couple right behind us. I'm almost out of stamina with my uh, dinosaur, so that's not fun for me. They're going to nomp on my tail a little bit here. That's fine. Let's just get some stamina back. No! Leave me alone. Please don't kill my dino. Yes, eat me. I'm so tasty. Follow me back. All right, we got some stamina. Stamina. Lot in this monster hype, guys. We've got some on our tail, but can I trank them? Can I trank them? That's the question. Can I do it? Now, I don't want them to come in here. Now, there's two entrances to this cave. One of them's too small for my shark to fit in, so I know it's too small for them to fit in. One of them's big enough for my shark to fit in, so they could fit in that one. What I want to do is get my shark in this cave and swim around to the entrance that's too small, and hopefully they'll try to attack me there, and then their heads will be sticking through, but their bodies won't be able to come through. That's the plan here. Let's see if this works. We go in like this, come around this way, and see if we can get them to target in on me right here. Where are they? 
Oh, I think they, yeah, here they are, here they are. Hey! Okay. Come this way. Come this way. Oh, yes! Yes, hello! No! Please don't. Please don't. Okay. They can't fit in. Shark! I don't have shark on passive. Hang on. Sharknado is not on passive right now. Dude, are you getting eaten up through the wall? All right, how do I... Okay, stop. Leave him alone. Right, maybe he should be passive now. No, he's still in neutral. All right, chill, chill, chill. I think they're not queued in on me anymore. Let's see if I can get him back over here. Where'd they go? It's super bright under why Okay, there, there's a trap. There's a trap. They're waiting for me. Now I can just take out my crossbow. And I'm pretty sure handle business. I don't know if I'm hitting them through this wall, though. They're not staying still long enough. Hang on. Let me time this. Don't touch me. Oh, this is a good spot right here. This is the spot, guys. I don't want to kill it. There are two of them out there, too, which is going to... But I'll take my shark and kill the other one. And they yield 100% prime. The only mate you're going to get off this guy is prime. So if I kill the other one with my shark, I'm going to get a butt ton of prime, which I should have brought a preserving bin in this cave. But who actually knew this was going to work? I did not. All right. I don't even know what level this is. I hope I have enough arrows. I have more arrows on the shark. I'm trying to hit him in his stomach when his head moves, but I'm doing a horrible job so far. There we go. That was a good one. I think I'm getting in his belly. I think. Ow, stop. I don't want to do headshots because it does a lot of damage. And this is not a normal, um, this is not a normal crossbow. I think this is a ramshackle. So it does even more damage. So let me pay attention real quick and I'll look in chat. Hopefully you guys aren't telling me anything super important. Roar! It's so angry. It's so angry. It wants to eat me. You know, before the crossbow came out, there was no way to shoot arrows underwater. And people still tame this thing. Well, what they would do is exactly what I've done here, except stand up on the ledge and, and uh, I think shoot it through the water? Because I think that was possible. Maybe. Not quite sure how people would tame this thing before the crossbow came out. Punch it. Punch it unconscious. You know how long that would take? That would be so bad. I think I'm only hitting its face. I can't see its body to see how much blood there is either, which is worrying me. Just wait a second. I should have brought a second crossbow, as you can see. I actually don't have another one on me. That was kind of a big mess up on my part. Because it is going to hopefully not run out of uh, durability before we get this thing down. But it is possible. There we go. There we go. Now, if we hop on the shark, let's go kill the other one. We can get some prime and go ahead and start to tame. The other one's waiting for us. Come on over here, boy. Yeah, that's right. I just messed up your fam. Don't be a huge level. Don't be, oh, he's already making my shark bleed. I think my shark was hurt a little bit from coming over here to begin with. These things are tough, dude. There we go, there we go. It was a 35. I don't know which one we put down. But look at this. It's going to be nothing but prime. Mm, crap. It's all going to spoil. This kind of sucks. Oh, well. We got some prime. Whatever. All right, so we've got the Loch Ness Monster down now. The, the strategy did work. Okay, so what we could do here is just go ahead and get all prepared. Let's get my, uh, let's get a piece of prime out really quick, some narcotics, and let's see exactly how this dude does. Let's see how long this is gonna take, kind of a deal. How fast it eats and everything. So, it's eating is going to be at nine. Oh, he, he's fast. He's a fast eater. This prime is actually not all gonna spoil. We'll get a few of them in there, which is great. He's a fast eater. This is good news. We'll take a couple more and stick it on him real quick. Fast eater, eh? I like that. So it's every 50 food points is when they usually eat. So when this drops to 950, 4,950, it'll eat its first piece of prime. We should be able to get all three of those without it spoiling. And then I want to see the toe bar is pretty quick too. As you can see, that bar's moved already and we just got the thing down. So we do have like 100 narcotics, so that should be enough. But I want to see what one piece of prime is going to do to the taming bar. If it looks like it's going to be a, just a little bit, we may actually need to go get some more narcotics. I think we'd have time to do it since we're over here behind Carno Island. We're not that far from home. Let's see. 
We definitely have enough time. Come on, eat your food. Are you not eating at 50s, actually? Hang on. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, dude. This is no problem, man. Did you see that jump? That's what the time 10 is all about. We don't need no stinking kibble. So what level is this guy? Did we get the wrong one? Level 35. I think the other one was the 35. So either one would have done just fine. So there we go. We're going to have this thing in no time at all, people. No time at all. I don't even think we'll need any more prime. Did it fill up more than one third of the bar just then? Yeah, it did. Uh, maybe four pieces of prime, but I'm thinking three pieces of prime will do it. Lagan, did you pre-order Jug Edition? I've got two Jug Editions, my friend. Two. Dos. Yeah, I'm freezing to death. I see that. We can start a fire. We can start a fire. We can get a fire up here going. Or we can stand right here and just heal up for a second. It's warm in this one spot for some reason, which is great. It's just great. We'll get it to heal up uh, just for a minute. I want to definitely make sure that that prime doesn't spoil. It's definitely going to be able to eat two pieces, and then I'm going to hop back down there in just a second. Let's just stand here for like 30 seconds. Get a little health back. Well, Rabbit, that's okay, man. Um, I can't just cater to one person what they do and do like. I've got an audience, uh, a pretty large audience, and some people love the collaboration videos. Other people don't. Uh, what I would suggest, if you don't like when I collaborate with somebody else, don't watch the video and then probably just don't even voice it. It's all good, man. I know it's constructive criticism, but that's kind of a picky one. I'm obviously going to play with friends from time to time put it on YouTube. I say by and large, though, about 80% of my videos are solo, so you're all set. Definitely not worth bringing up. Okay, what are the five minutes and five minutes, and he's about to eat again. Let's see if we'll need one more piece in there. Probably wouldn't hurt to put one more piece in there. And he's eating, it seems like, every three minutes or so. So that actually, yeah, I think we're going to get this just fine, guys. No tranks needed. God dang. I'm over, I've, I've completely overpowered my guy's ability to tame. That tame should take way longer. But scumbag lag, it is in fact a scumbag. So let's just put on our boots so we can walk for a minute. And let's make a campfire because I brought it anyway. So let's make one. Might as well. campfire i brought some wood like a smart guy look at me look at me brought some raw meat to cook up should we need it but we actually don't i wasn't quite sure how long it would take us to find one so i brought all kind of supplies just in case but it's always actually good to have a campfire in here because i do come in here quite a bit and sometimes i come in here a little damaged damaged goods so there we go just stand here and warm up nope okay we're gonna need a second fire i believe and I have one. Sometimes it takes two fires. Rut row. There we go. Need some more wood. Need some more wood. Take it all. Take it all. It's also because I don't have a shirt on. Wow, two isn't doing it. It must be freezing outside. Two and a torch? Two and a torch will do it. There we go. We'll just hang out here for a minute while he finishes taming. I don't think anything's stupid enough to come up and mess with that while it's eating. We'll see, though. You can build a base on the platform of the Pleosaur as well. Yeah, not yet. You can't, but yes, that is a thing. Getting cozy by the campfire. Let's see how ridiculous we look. And yes. <laughs> Scuba lagging. <laughs> look like, I look like I'm ready to just piece the scene, boys. <laughs> I am pretty dope looking, though. It must be nighttime outside, plus it's raining. It's got to be why it's so cold. It's got to be why it's so cold. All right, let's put back on our flippers and go check on the guy. Tiki is so agitated right now. He's been trying to get the little squeaky part out of this toy I gave him for like three days in a row now. He still can't get it. Yeah, so this one right here has got three minutes of spoil time, and this will certainly drop down to 4 9 50 before three minutes are up. This guy will be ours very very soon, within three minutes or less. I can tell you that. And then we'll we'll we'll, uh, we'll actually uh, take him home with us because we have the saddle. I'll, we'll ride him home and we'll get this guy to follow. I'll probably have to get him out of the cave first, though. 
Because God knows he's not going to figure it out on his own. So just hang out here for a minute. Boy, I don't even know what we're going to do. Oh, my God. Two and the torch isn't doing it. Oh, okay. Okay, now what do I do? I don't have any more fire. Okay. Well, we just hope for the best here, guys. Oh, wait, wait. wait. There it is. There it is. There she is. Yeah, it must be nighttime outside, plus it's raining, plus we're underwater. So, uh, word to the wise, if you want to set up shop and do this, maybe three fires is the way to go. So we're going to have to name this thing, and I don't really know how we're going to do it. This is the coolest dinosaur, obviously, I think, in the game. One of the rarest ones. A lot of people don't even try to get it. So it's going to be a very special name, and I'll have to think about it, or I'll have to let one of you guys name it, but I'll have to figure out a way to do that. Oh, just shaking up the respawn energy, guys. It's time to respawn my energy levels with a little razzle-dazzle flavor. Of course you could save 10% on that by using code lagging. That's all you gotta do is code lagging. Go check it out. There's a link somewhere, somewhere for it. Worst promoter ever. There's a link somewhere, somewhere for it. That's what I just said out loud. Loudly. About to wake up? You're gonna eat? You're gonna eat? Oh, here we go, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, my God. Yes. Look at this thing. Look at the dossier for it. Oh, yeah, look. It does show um, ca uh, capability to build on it, which isn't in the game yet. Um, oh, this is cool. We, we can't spend a lot of time underwater, though. Let's, let's go ahead and saddle this monster up. We'll check out all of his stats in a minute. I just want to get to a warmer place. Um... And let me, let me get him out of here and put him in follow mode. But first, he's got to get out of here. Should probably put out those fires in case I come back here. But, uh, oh, well, it's too late. We can't, we've gone too far now. We can't go back. Yeah, we definitely need to get to the surface quicker. Uh, actually, you know what? Please, and follow right now. Let's, let's see if we can get back home. Actually, I want to ride it. I want to ride it. Screw that. Come here. Okay. And now follow F. Nope. J. There we go. All right, you follow me. Holy crap. Oh, look at it. The mask is kind of obstructing. Don't worry. We'll do We'll do We'll go for a ride once it's daytime. And we can really see this thing. Uh, shark, you having any problems keeping up? Dang, this thing's fast if the shark's that far behind because the shark is pretty fast. Are we out of the cold? All right, we're out of the danger of the cold right now. Let's just surface really quick. See what's well. Oh, stamina's horrible on this, though. It's already out. We'll get that worked out. There's a couple sharks here. Do I want to test this? I don't think I really want to get in a fight with it yet. I'll just get it home. Oh my god, it's like some sort of alien monster I'm riding on. This mask is driving me crazy, though. I'm not even going to lie. I don't know how to fight with this thing, though, to be honest with you. Where's my shark? Uh-oh. Sharky! Uh-oh. Did we lose fish? Uh, did we lose um, Sharknado? I need the sun to come up. I don't even know where I'm at. Sharknado, where are you? Okay, we lost Sharknado briefly. We'll find him. We'll find him. You're not him. Are you him? You're not him either. All right, let's surface. I'll just spam J a lot, and hopefully uh, Sharknado will come. If not, we can go on a, a mission to find him. We'll find him. He's around here somewhere. Animals, it's weird. Like, swimming animals don't follow well in this game at all. I want to get to the surface with this guy, though, really quick. Let's take a nice, good look. Oh, we did it, guys. We actually did it. Now, Shark's still alive. That Shark, even if he's lost, he's fine. Uh, pretty good amount of health. And like I said, we haven't run into any big level Sharks down here yet. Not to say there's not any in the game, but... Oh, man. All right, let's take this mask off. This is so... I hate this mask. Take the mask off. There we go. Wow! This thing is enormous! All right, so... I don't know where the hell my shark is, but we'll come back for him. All right, let's go. Let's go let's see if this thing will fit in the base okay. Now, if I don't have my mask on, what does that do exactly? I still have my tank on, and it seems to be working just fine. You don't even need the mask. It, all the mask does is a damn obscure the view. I'm not putting the mask on ever again. I don't think that's needed, guys. I don't think you have to have the mask on for the tank to work. Look at that. Where am I? Oh, we're on the other side over there. Don't you beach. Don't you get beached. What if I beached this thing instantly? That would be pretty impressive of me. I don't know where the hell Sharknado is, guys. This is very upsetting. But we'll go get him. We'll go on foot and get him. And by foot, I mean we'll flip her over to him ourselves. Because you just can't get underwater animals to follow uh, very well in this game at all. 
They just don't do it. So we're going to have to go find them on our own. But we will. And I can swim really fast with my flippers. God dang it. No! Don't get stuck. Please don't get stuck. Let's see if this thing will fit in here. I'm sure it will. Turning radius isn't so bad, actually. It's about the same as the croc, maybe. Actually, a little better, I think. Yeah, this thing turns fine, actually. Oh, my God. This is awesome. It takes up the whole pin. The entire pin is taken up by this guy. Okay, I might have to rethink my pin. But there he is, flying above it. <laughs> oh my god, he can fly, you guys! He can fly! Yeah, he doesn't fit in here. Oh wait, did Shark Nano follow us home? Nope, that's just a random shark looking for trouble. Get him, boys! Everybody freak out and kill stuff! Do it! Oh, you're in so much trouble, Shark, you don't even know. Dead. Dead. He's a level 52 now? Wow. All right, I'm going to calm down. It's okay. It's okay. We're never going to get him out of this pin now is the problem, though. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, we're going to we're gonna have to expand the pin here, guys. This is not exactly... And look at the crocs freaking out over there. Okay. Well, I did to make the best pin here. Can we just go over the wall somehow? Let's just Come on. Come on. we got to get him back out of here. We'll just... I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with him. He's just... You know, he's stuck for life. Okay. Well, that was fun with him. We got to play with him for five minutes before I broke him. Shut that door. We can probably get him unstuck here. I want to check out his stats because I haven't bothered yet, have I? So, 2,000 health. We can boost that right now. Melee damage is at 300. Carries a lot. 800. Eats. Uh, stamina is horrible. Melee damage. Uh, movement speed. So, everything's pretty gay on this guy. We'll have to work it all out. For 52, that's pretty disappointing. Get your ass off the fence. All right. I might have to deconstruct the wall to get this guy down, I'm afraid. Wait. Wait. Yeah, he's out. Now, can we get him back out of here, though, is the key. I shut that. Okay, we just got to get him lined back up. Easier said than done. All right, we're going to get the shark carcass out of the way. He's flying. We need a much bigger pin. Good grief. Get out of here, you. And our, our gator's outside. This is just a nightmare so far. Just a nightmare. All right, so he can't go forward any further, it would appear. Look at this thing, man. You can just walk around on him. He's got some nice colors, too. I like him. It. Of course, we need to do a screenshot of this. One would assume. Would be the next thing I do. That's what I always do. Can I get up to his... Look at his freaking ugly head, man. Who needs a dragon when you have a flying... Please, plesiosaur. Well, there we go. We broke the game. Good for us. I'm going to try to get him out of this pin, though, because this is driving me crazy. I want to go find my shark, too. This is driving me insane. Get your ass out of the pin. All right. If we can just turn him like this, I think we have a shot here. Ooh, except he catches the water right there. How do I open this outward instead of inward? Let's see. I think if we open it from the left side, it will go outward. Nope. Right. Okay, right side. We'll redo that in a second. What are you doing out here? It's a bad croc. He's just standing guard. That's actually pretty good. I think the plesiosaurus, ple, plesiosaurus is trying to follow me, too, which is not what we're trying to do here, plesiosaur. I'm trying to get you out of here. We'll take you on a nice test spin. All right, so I think if we open it from this side, it'll open outwards. There we go. There we go. I know there's a trick to it. Now, God, turn! Oh, you're so close to getting out every time we do this. Uh, uh, yes, boys and girls and ladies and gents. We did it. All right, so basically, I just need to take down my giant gate that took forever to make. Um, and would you calm your, calm, calm your tits? And just extend it out here to where it's a little deeper, really. That's all we need to do. Or, or can I actually go wider? It's not very deep, though. That's the problem, I think. Yeah, I think we're going to... Maybe we'll just make him a separate pin, huh? Because I don't really want to tear that down and make another one. We'll just make him a separate pin somehow. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. All right, let's take him on a spin. We'll go for it. We'll find our shark in a little bit. It's just chilling somewhere. It's very quiet on this guy, though. The game volume is not down. It's just a very quiet moving... God, he goes fast. I want to just boost his stamina. He's so fast, but it goes away so quickly. 
Stamina and melee. I think his health will be fine for most of the shark fights we get in, but how does this thing even fight? Let's see. Does it throw poop like the monkey? Because that'd be pretty cool. So... All right, so it's got one attack. That's it. And it's probably going to be hard to hit stuff because you see you got to hit it with its mouth, and its mouth's a mile ahead of you. It's going to be hard to line stuff up. Let's see if we can find a shark. But, yeah, this thing descends really quickly. Here's a shark. Oh, no, it's a, it's a fellow... Dude, there was one this close to our base? You're kidding me. I think these things are all in pairs, too, because I see another one off in the distance. Let's fight it. I think I'm hitting it. Because it's hard to tell. I don't know if we're hitting it or not. Let's just keep doing it. Oh, God, it's health. It's health. No. No. Go. Oh, no. Oh, we're going to kill it. We're going to freaking kill it. No. I'm not prepared for this rise to the surface. They won't follow you. Okay, we need more health. Those things hit hard. Hey, guys, there's a couple right there. We can go back and tame even more. Nice. Very close to our base. What the hell is this? <coughs> I don't think they'll follow us up this high. I think it's about as high as they go. Yeah, we're good now. We're good. Okay, not really a fighter. More of a lover, this thing is. Let's go put it back up. Let's put it back up for now. Let's get it stuck in there. Okay, that's, that's our fun with the, the Loch Ness Monster. Maybe not as good as I thought it was going to be. Very weak. Very weak. Ha, <laughs> you say rip. You say rip, but I got out. I got out with that hot uh, evading action. Where the hell do I live? Somewhere around here. It doesn't surface very fast either, but I think if we point up and just swim up, we can go up really quick. There's a surface button that auto puts him to the surface, but that's pretty slow with this guy. All right, this way. All right, we're going to uh, just hop in the water and go find our shark and bring him back home. We'll find him, maybe. There's a chance we won't find the shark. I don't mind losing the dolphin, so what I think I'll do is get on the dolphin and go find the shark. And then I'll hop on the shark, and if the dolphin follows us home, great. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. Let me open it up. All right, you I'm so sorry that this pin is not big enough for you. This is it's a little embarrassing, and I apologize for that. Can I get the dolphin out with you in the way, though? Whoa. So you can do tricks with him. This is a great addition to the Lagan City Zoo, though. I know you're jealous that you don't have one of these, but I do. Yeah, we'll just go right underneath. No problem. No problem. This all works out. We shut this. He should be pretty safe. I mean, his tail's exposed a little bit, I'm sure, but actually, he fits perfect. We don't need to make another one. He's just, he flies, okay? He's just, he's a flyer. All right, let's go fight our shark. Somewhere in this direction. And towards Carno Island. All right, Sharknado, where are you? He's down pretty low, if I'm not mistaken. Is where we last saw him at, like down here somewhere towards, going towards the cave. Is that the cave right there? Nah, don't tell me that's the cave. No, nah, it's not. Okay. Ooh, there's another one. Now they're everywhere that we've tamed one. Ain't that the way it works? Did my shark die and I didn't see it? No, he's not dead. We would have seen that. I would have cried. I would have cried on camera. On camera, you say? Yeah, that's what I said. But I don't even actually have a camera hooked up, so it's kind of a lie. I'm just whistling for him. You're not him. You're not him. All right, you know what we should do is we should backtrack. Uh, we should let's go find the cave, and then work our way home from the cave. And maybe we'll run into him randomly somewhere. I don't know where it's at from, from where I'm at right here. So let's go to the surface and figure out where I'm at. And then we'll find the cave. Then we'll backtrack and see if we can find him. He's he's obviously just chilling somewhere. Yeah, he's still alive. I thought so. I thought so. He was on passive. Oh crap, though that is a big problem. He was on passive indeed. I remember putting him on passive. So he went and attack. Uh oh, that is a big problem. He could die. He could easily die. Indeed, indeed. So hopefully he's in a spot where nothing's messing with him. Yeah, that is that is kind of an issue there. Did not think that through. Let's give him a little more health. Rut row. Do you have food on you, by the way, dolphin? Yeah, you got some. Here's some more. Take some more, Dolphiny the Dolphin. Yeah, you don't even need the mask for the scuba gear to work. Don't don't even bother wasting your uh, resources on the mask, guys. 
It's just, uh, it's pretty much a waste there. All right, so we go down here. We look for the tall pointy cliff under the sea. Under the sea. Tall pointy cliff, where are you? Did I go down in the wrong spot, maybe? Don't second guess yourself. It's around here somewhere. But where? Uh -oh. I think I went down the wrong spot. Okay, well, whatever. Oh, this is where we found the Pleosaurus, and we took him around the corner here. And around the corner is the cave. And we took him around the corner here. I think I'm making stuff up again. Uh, I definitely know where we're at. The cave is literally right here on the other side. Boop. Actually, I don't know where I'm at. I am lost. Crap. Yep, we're lost. God damn it. Underwater shenanigans. Alright, I just gotta get my bearings. Jeez, how did we end up over here? My god. Right, let's try it again. I think I dove down at the wrong spot. Oh, beautiful albino over there. Let's check it out. Okay, I can't. Can't. Can't stand on those. Is that an albino? I think it might be. What are you? I want to check your level. Seventeen. Not even worth our time. We gotta go down and we've gotta find our shark. Quit messing around. I love Sharknado. Or maybe Sharknado will die and we could build our very first grave today. Oh, that's kind of morbid of me to think that way, but kinda of wanna build the grave. Don't have anything dead yet. We almost lost our freaking plesiosaur though. That would have been the worst. Alright, so it's right here, right at the back of the small island. You go straight down, look for the pointy rock of a thousand rocks. Where is it? There it is, there it is. So from there, you just kind of go down to the left, like so. And then in between two smaller boulders, there's the one, and there should be another one that we go in between. No, no, did I go the wrong way? Maybe it's these two right here. Should be a gap. There's our gap. Here's our cave. All right, now, we kind of just came out and sort of went in this direction. So let's see if we can find our shark now. We were going up as we were going in this direction. I'm gonna swim s slow, see if we can find him feel like this would be correct and going like this. What's wrong with my guy? He's starving again, dude. What's wrong with you? Oh, you can eat underwater on this guy, though. That's that's helpful. Nice. Spam J the whole time. Okay, definitely going the wrong way there. Sharknado! Where are you? Oh, I pooped. That's good. Guess there's no better place to poop than the ocean. Maybe a bathroom, though. I have a required mod for the graves. You missed the start of the stream. Don't I remember this tall thing? Didn't this where we kind of last saw the shark right around here? feel like we did. Are you my shark? No, you're a dolphin. Where the hell do you go? Now, the thing is, he probably got aggroed. He's on passive. I think that means he would flee, right? He'd piece the scene, or would he just stand there and take it? Where the hell did he go? You know, he could be back at home just waiting for us. It's entirely possible. This could be him right here, though. Or not. You guys see my shark? Where's my shark? I don't know where Sharknado is. That's kind of that kind of upsets me. We do at least we have tuna back at home, so it's not like it's the worst case scenario. But Sharknado has the saddle on him. The hell is he? All right. Well, well, 
Rest in peace, Sharknado? Question mark? Guys, should we presume him dead? Even though we know he's alive, should we just presume that he's dead now? I mean, it's not my fault he didn't want to follow us home. Maybe he got super jealous of the new plesiosaur and decided to go live his own life somewhere. He does have a mind of his own, you know. What is this? I think it's another plesiosaur. Dude, they're everywhere now that we tamed one. Look at that. We've we seen about six so far since the taming. I don't even know where I'm at now. I've 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 gone in circles possibly. I'm I may even be like completely, completely far away from home now. This might be Carno Island right here. I have no idea. Let's go up top. Let's go up top. No, he's a family member. Go look more. Well, he's sort of more of a pet, okay? Well, pets can be family members like Tiki is, but Tiki's earned that right. Alright? Tiki has earned the right to be a family member. It's been with me since he was a little pup, and I love him. Hey, what's this shadow over here now? This could be him. There's a lot of shadows over here. What's going on? Y'all just trying to kill... What the hell's that? An alligator and a swarm of dolphins chasing it. This is hilarious. Get him, boys! Ow, that hurt. Fight the gator. Come on. I'm helping. We can all be friends. I'm the leader of the dolphin people. Stop touching me! Come on, we're fighting a gator, guys. Get it together. I don't even think you're helping. I killed it! No way! Fish sticks! You legend! I didn't know you were capable of doing anything but other than getting on my nerves. Good job. Alright. Fun meeting you all. Hopefully I helped you out and none of you died. It's good. Alright, let's go back home and see if the, uh, maybe he's, maybe he's there now. I don't know. I don't know where the hell he's at. No idea where Sharknado could be at. I'm going to look around a little bit more right here because this is, the pin's kind of up there. Maybe he made it this far and just kind of stopped. I should have never gotten that far in front of him, but I got excited with my plesiosaur. I just went for it. If you want to check your scuba tank's inventory, uh, as you can see, it's a little less than halfway now. So it is running out of air, but we've been underwater now for, how long have I been streaming? An hour now, and we spent maybe 10 minutes with the raptor. So 50 minutes so far, I and it's only a little under halfway. I'm assuming you can go for pro probably like hour 45, I'm guessing. I don't know what to tell you guys. I think he's gone. And quite possibly forever. One day we'll get a notification saying your Sharknado was killed. It'll be a very sad day. Sharks are pretty easy to spot too when they're in, within your view. Even if it's far away, you can still see like just a blob of something floating in the water. And the only couple blobs we've seen so far are two wild sharks that don't belong to me and some plesiosaurs and some dolphins. I don't even think he's in the area, guys. I don't know where he went. He doesn't seem to be on the most direct path from the cave to the pen. So I think he's... Oh, what, what, oh that's, uh, that's oil. It's just oil there. So I quite honestly don't know where he's gone to. And if he's ever coming back. Alright, let's go home. We'll presume him dead and make him a grave. Maybe one day he'll come back to us. He could still be up there at the gates, though. So we'll find out. I traded a shark for an Essie. That's a great way of looking at it, Raging Heart. Raging Hard On. Okay. Just full out, that's your name, huh? Just a Raging Hard On. Love it. Keeping it classy here. I see that you like keeping things classy. So Raging Hard On has suggested that uh, it's, you know, look at it that way. Yeah, he's on passive. The problem is, yeah, I put him on passive because when we were taming, uh, the Nessie hit me and then Sharknado went in for the kill. So I had to put him on passive. Fortunately, I forgot to take him off passive on the voyage back home. And now that he's gone, he is literally just sitting somewhere at the bottom of the ocean waiting to be eaten. He won't even defend himself, which is the worst part. It's always funny when you lose an animal that's not on passive, though. Every now and then you'll get a notification like your mammoth just killed a level 72 T-Rex or whatever. That's always funny. You're like, well, where the hell is he? Because I haven't seen him in weeks. Oh, well. Oh, well. Let's check out this new grave mod, guys. We'll make our first gravestone today. <laughs> the flying plesiosaur. All of us wonder, hey, hi, you ugly, ugly thing. My God, you're not even adorable at all. You're just hideous. 
a little hideous blimp. All right, so like I said, it's okay. We still have all the underwater animals that we were allowed to tame. Killer Croc. We've got Tuna the Megalodon. And, uh, kill yep, and, um, what is your name? Fish Sticks the Dolphin. Or Ichthosaurus. Or the Neuplesius, or ple ple uh, this thing. Right there. The Loch Ness Monster. All right, so we, we have now completed our aquatic zoo farm here. <laughs> just, he's just going to float, and I'm okay with that. I really am not okay with that, but that's how it's happening. I really don't feel like building another pin. This, this pin took hours. I thought for sure that would be big enough. We got a new raptor today. Now, what are we missing, guys? We're missing the monkey. We're missing the little fat bastard with the tusk. We are missing a spino, and we are missing a mammoth. And that is all. That is all. We can go look for a monkey today. I don't mind looking for one, but there is no guarantee we're going to find one. They are extremely rare and hard to find. You just, I mean, I just don't run into them ever. I've seen one and I spooked them off, but we can go find, we can try to find one. I don't mind. I don't even mind. Please take that off. You look ridiculous. Where's your shirt? Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. Well, I guess we could check on that uh, dino mod, the uh, the grave mod. Where would we put a graveyard at in the zoo, though? Oh, of course, guys. I was going to do a firing range up here. But wouldn't this be a better, more peaceful and beautiful place to pay tribute to our dead and fallen? The top of this beautiful plateau overlooking the ocean. This would be a great place for it. But first, let's see what we need to do to actually make one of these stones. And which one are we actually going to use for the shark? Which one would best fit the shark? Because there's quite a few stones to, uh, or headstones to choose from here. So we have a spear grave. It looks like just three spears sticking up. And a simple grave with a cross. Now this one's a spear skull grave. And this one is a grave skull with a cross. Here's your traditional tombstone. This one's got triple skull. I guess you could put your, uh, any skull that you have. Anything that's counted as a hat maybe you could put on there. A supply chest grave? Oh, so it looks like the supply chest that comes down. That's kind of cool. Here's a, a Celtic cross, and that's it. I'm thinking for the shark that we should do this one right here. Uh, I think we can just craft it from our regular inventory, or maybe we have to go on the smithy with it. Let's see. Craftables. It's going to be under miscellaneous. It's probably, I don't even know where to find these things at. Here they all are, right here. So if I want to do this one, dudes, graves for days. Are you kidding me? That's such an easy recipe. We need some chitin and some wood. Let's go, boys. Let's go. No, man, you got to think about it like this. If you had a loved pet, right, wouldn't you want him his resting place to be in a beautiful location. You don't just hide that crap in the woods. You put it on top of a plateau. We're not ruining the view. We're making his final resting place a beautiful view. You gotta look at it positively, my man. Not that I'm ruining the landscape for me. We're making a better afterlife for him. Do you see? Let's check on our raptor. We gotta build a pen for Rapidy the raptor today. And blooper over here. Oh, look at the, just a beautiful freaking color. I love that. I love this raptor. Those colors, though. Those colors. Aren't you special? All right. So, let's get our chitin and our wood and make a gravestone for Sharknado. He, I, Sharknado played a very important role in our game here. He was able to track down the elusive Loch Ness Monster, lost to all of mankind for centuries rumored to be just a fable in scotland and yet sharknado was able to sniff one out and get us one so sharknado has earned his place in the lagging dino hall of fame it is a sad day i know he's not dead we're pretending okay let's have some imagination here. he's dead as hell even if he swims back home i'm gonna murder him so, so we can keep role playing about our shark all right just let him be dead let him be dead he's gone now everybody never to come back this is also a beastly axe. I think this one's a... What kind of axe are you? What are you? What are you? You are an apprentice metal hatchet. 
We have the ramshackle pike, the ramshackle metal pickaxe, and this guy, ramshackle crossbow. That's I was really worried it was going to kill the plesiosaur. I was really worried about that. All right. Let's go to your final resting place up here. And we'll craft this thing and see how it looks. I think it actually adds a dirt mound too, which would be really cool if that's how it works. I'm not sure though. This will be my first time trying out this mod. So we already know one of the mods does in fact work, the new colors on the dinosaurs, because that raptor is legit. And then the second mod, we're about to find out if it works. We have another mod, uh, some fence posts, which are great. We might, we might try the fence post out for a new raptor pin. Put them in a nice uh, pin made of just fence posts. Might look a little better than the wooden walls I have up. Okay, we're probably gonna ruin this drop site though by building here, but that's fine, because anything that ever comes up here is crap anyways. Like, watch. Instant crap. Thanks. Get out of here. Building, okay? We're building. You see this, guys? This is like, if I was going to get buried somewhere, this would be it. He can always overlook his, his, his natural habitat, too. This is perfect. I'm a genius. I'm a freaking genius. Um, This is the one right here. Okay. Dude, mods are so easy to install in this game, too. It's nothing like Minecraft where you have to move files around. It's literally in the Steam Workshop. You just add mod. You click a button, and it installs it in the game for you. Before you launch your game, you select the mods you want included in your game. You can deselect a few, add 20. I don't care. I mean, I don't know how many you could add at once, but it's it's really easy in this game. All right, let's see how this looks, guys. Oh, no, it does. It does add a dirt pile, you guys, and it comes with a helmet on it. You're out of your ass. I love it. Oh, you can type on it. Yes, dude, that is epic. That is really cool. If you do this on a um, more of a flat ground, like a beach, you'd probably see the dirt a lot better. But that is cool. I think these stones come with it too at the front there. Dudes, that is really cool. Really cool. Um, we're going to take a screenshot of this one for sure. Rest in peace, Sharknado. There it is. That's the screenshot right there. Money shot. Actually, we got to center it. got to center it. Oh, look at the sun over there. This could be even better now. This could be even better now. There it is. There it is. So what do you guys think of that mod? See, simple mod doesn't really change the game, but you can pay tribute to your animals. Now, if you really want to change the game, you can use this other mod I downloaded where we can hatch freaking eggs and have babies. But we're not doing that today now, are we? Nope. We accomplished our goal uh, of getting the plesiosaur. Now we're going to hop on the bird and I guess go in wooded areas and fly really low around and see if we can't find a monkey. That's going to be so hard to find. But first, let's aggravate... This little Dilo here and get the plant to shoot him. Let's get the uh, alien plant to shoot this thing. Where's that little Dilo at? I saw him. I know you're in these bushes somewhere. There you are. Come here. Come here. I want to show you something. I just want to show you something. It's pretty neat. Come this way. Come this way. If you haven't seen this plant yet, you're about to. I like to show it off every episode because it's just incredible. It's just incredible. Is anybody crying? Is anybody crying about Sharknado's death in his new grave? That is such a cool little mod. I like that. Come on. Come on then. All right, before we fly and find the monkey, let's make a pin for our raptor, yeah? That's a good idea. Oh, it's already shooting! Look at the range! Wow, you're dead as hell! Look at the freaking range! The plant is, the plant is right there. That is, a, that is one hell of a range. I do have it on high, but I didn't know high was that far. My God, where's the plant? There's the plant. That's what was doing it. Wow, we're shooting little eggs at him. Little green eggs sacks. All right, so where should we build the raptor pin at? We'll just do a stable kind of connected to the back of Chompy here for the raptor. I think so. Let's test out these new fence posts. Let's give it a go. Uh, what do I have to do to make these? Probably just wood thatch and fiber, I'm guessing. Wood thatch and fiber for these things? Let's see. No, Tiki. Now is not the time. It's not the time, Tiki. So a wooden fence post. Oh, easy peasy. So we've got medium height. That'd probably be perfect. So there's medium, low, and tall, I think. 
And I was thinking about removing the front walls at the top of our hut there, just the two front panels, and putting rails there instead. Just putting some rails there. Thatch, five bad. Do you have any wood on you by any chance, Leroy? Sometimes I stick wood on him now, but we could take him out there with us. He's a good building companion. Come on, let's go. We're going to get some wood with Leroy real quick. That was such a cool freaking plant, isn't it, guys? Donnie, Donnie's alive and well. He's right here. What do you mean make one for Donnie? Donnie is not part of this experience. That was on a whole different server. He's not part of this family. He's not part of the Lagging Zoo. That's Donnie 2.0 right there. Donnie had his memorial on the other game. Oh, we could make one for Shiroi, but she's not really dead, is she? She just lives on Carno Island now. Stuck. Forever stuck in a cave. I don't think we've really lost that many dinosaurs. If we have, we've quickly replaced them. Right, that should be enough. Do you need to level up? Nah, you're good. All right, Leroy. We're going to build really quick. Oh, the sun's going down. Wouldn't you figure? Wouldn't you just figure? Get rid of some of that glare for you. I thought I was missing a T Rex. I couldn't see the other one. Rex of a thousand Rexes over there. They're both there. Hi, ladies. How are you? Oh, hi. Thank you. I just gave, gave me little T Rex kisses. That was adorable. Yeah, we'll just add a nice little stable right back here on the backside of Chompy. But it's nighttime, so. That won't be very fun for anybody. So, while it's nighttime, maybe we'll go inside briefly and let's just see what we need to do to make the incubator station for the uh, for the hatching of the eggs, which we're not doing today because I need to actually make, guys, off cam, if we're going to do this incubator, we're going to do it right. We need a barn, right? So we can hatch the and, and raise the, the younglings. But maybe this is like a perfect spot. We've got a lot of room right here. We can do like a barn building where we can hatch and incubate and raise and then we can actually have the wooden fence uh, for a little grazing pen for them as well plus an indoor section yes you see can you envision it right here I can so we'll need to do that before I'm very retarded we could literally do it today hatch eggs we don't need a barn for it but I'm gonna make a barn for it it's just how I like playing games it's very dark in here and I don't like it let's go light some torches up top and we'll replace those two thatch uh, walls with some with the uh, the posts really quick. Let's just see what they look like before we get started building an entire pit. Maybe they look horrible, and we don't want to do that. How dare you not have any wooden you? How dare you? Which means this one's probably about to run out. Oh, I've got a bunch of thatch in there, huh? Okay, there's some wood too. All right, so if we remove this, right? Let me remove the other one. Shane. Yeah, Shane. All right, let's build a couple of these wooden things then. Shall we? We shall. Uh, where are they? Here they are. The medium one, we could do a low one, or you could do high ones. I think medium's probably going to be, we'll test one out. Let's make one really quick, test it out, and let's see what it looks like. If it's all the way up to our chest, then we'll obviously do the low one. We want something that's about waist high here. All right, I've got that in five. Oh yeah, look, it attaches right, that's perfect height. Dudes, hell yes, way better, way better. Okay, we'll make a few of those then, let's do that. Let's do, make as many as it lets me, six more. And then we'll, uh, that might be a little too low for the raptor though. Actually, no, it's probably pretty, eh, should we go high on the raptor? We should do a high one for the raptor, I'm thinking. If this is medium, which is half as high as that thatch wall. It's a little less than half high, so I guess the high will come right up. That might be too tall for the I don't know. I don't know what we'll do. We'll figure it out in a minute. Can't be bothered to figure things out right now. Oh, the torch is in the way? No, it's not. Yeah, dudes, I like this. Look at the home improvements. Home improvements with lagging in pals. Now let's see how that looks. Much better. That really made all the difference. I, this is a good mod. Just an easy, simple mod. Doesn't change the game much. But you can do. You can just make things look better with that. That's cool. I like that. 
Leroy, we need more wood, though, because now we only have three fences. Let's go. Sun will be back up in a minute, guys. See you, rabbit. Take care. Take care. I don't like chopping down trees around my property. I just like keeping them up. So we go all the way down here to the uh, palm trees because they're far enough away where they'll respawn. If you chop down stuff too close to the foundations you've built, nothing respawns around them. So try to keep as much trees as possible. I just like, like the way it looks. I don't like just everything being gone. That's kind of the mistake I made in my first house I ever built an arc. It was just a wasteland of nothing, really. Stop eating, Leroy. Come on. All right, moon's going down, which means sun will be up very, very soon. I'm trying to think if there's a better place we can build the raptor pin, but I, I just don't know. Just don't know. Maybe we do it... Uh, I mean, we could do it here. But it doesn't make sense to put it next to the big ones. We should do it next to these guys over here. Yeah, because you know what? I still need to make a Fioma. A Fioma? Is that what those big fat pigs are called? We need to make a Fioma cage, a raptor cage. So maybe both of those can go over here. Okay, so let's just do it. Let's just do it. And then I won't be... Oh, do you need a foundation? Yes, you don't need a foundation. Perfect. But I can't see. Oh, now I can. You can do both at once. Cool. Yeah, cool. You don't need to stick this to a foundation or anything. Perfect. How'd we do? Okay, we missed. We missed. That's a little low, don't you guys think? You think we should go medium? I mean high with this? Otherwise, you don't really know what's there. Let's see. Let's just keep going and see what it looks like. Can you stack these by any chance? No, you can't stack them, but they do snap. You do it just right, I guess. Hang on. Snap. Screw it. There we go. Uh, I think we need to go high. I don't like those. Let's go high. Let's go use the high ones. All right, let's go get some more stuff and we'll make the high ones. Let's see if we can make any right now, actually. Actually. That's a low. There's a high. We'll make five high ones. We'll know right now. Yeah, we're doing highs. We're going highs. Because the raptor's kind of tall anyways. But we're looking at it through my point of view. Not good. Okay, does that really look any taller to you? Oh, you know what, you know what, you know what, you know what? I don't think we put our highs in yet. There we go. Get rid of the mediums. All right, my guy's hungry and thirsty, so let's do a little... Oh, we're out of food. Hey, Roy. Got some berries I can borrow, buddy? Thank you, sir. Now, yes, that's right. The trick that everyone taught me is now you just hold down the hot bar while you're in this inventory. Look how fast it eats those berries. All gone. Lovely. Good trick, guys. Good trick. Not great for if you're in a PvP situation, but good for when you're not. All right, we've got those there. All right, let's see what the highs look like. Much better. Not too high either, which is great. I was worried about them being as tall as the fence behind it, but they're not. How'd we do? Same gap. Did just as bad. Yeah, those are definitely bigger. Not much taller though, huh? All right, well, whatever. What the hell ever. Now, what's cool about this is we can actually think. And then we can, like, leave a gap right here so we can come in and out. Like, there's, like, no restriction for keeping us from, like, snapping crap together. Like, we don't have to snap anything together here, which is great. And I can't really tell how wide the gap's going to be from this angle. But this looks like it's the only way I can place it, unfortunately. So, let's do that. Should be enough? Yeah, it's perfect. That's perfect. Hey, the pin's coming along. We got to get some more supplies, though, because it looks like we're going to be one or two short for the old raptor. Rapity the raptor. Blooper. What the hell's wrong with my guy? Why are you always so high? It's not even hot. We're in the shade. Notice notice the shade we're in. And we'll make a raptor saddle. I think it's pretty cheap to make a raptor saddle. We need some more wood, probably. What are we, what are we low on? Uh, we have thatch and fiber. and Yeah, we just need some more wood. Let's go get some more wood real quick. We'll finish up this little pin, make a sign for it as well, as all of our exhibits have the signs. And then we'll go try to find a monkey. Ugh, hopefully we can find one. It's going to be tough. Not going to be easy. Probably find one in like two minutes. Because I say it's going to be hard, it probably won't end up being hard at all. There is a blue care pack. Those are always worth checking on. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. 
Uh, just use that grill and get all of the food. I think I actually have some cooked food on there, but we were down there building. I don't want to go all the way back to the house. I think I have some cooked food on there right now. Is that an albino dilo? Shut your bitch. Shut your bitch, whatever that means. Hey, you're ugly as hell. Get out of here. Shoot. What did I just do? Alpha, an alpha dilo. There you go. So we know the mod's working, guys. That right there was an alpha dilo from the new mod I put in. I shouldn't have killed it. I should have seen if we could tame it. It's orange and white. Lovely. I feel bad, but do you have anything surprises on you? No, no surprises on him. Okay, well, that's the other mod. So we have the rare mod and like boss dinosaur mod. So each species now has an alpha. We'll have to keep an eye on out for that. I forgot about that. That's my bad. Primitive pike. I already have like four of those back home in a box. Don't really need them. Eh, I don't feel like making metal signs either, but still a good care pack there. Good, good, good care pack. Dams, dude. That's too bad. I should have tried taming him to see if you can. I know you can't tame alphas, but since we added this mod, I wonder if we can tame the ones that are added with the mod. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of goofed. Lagging done goofed, everybody. Alpha Dilo right there. Alpha Dillo. Some people say Dillo. I like saying Dilo. Dilophosaurus. So I guess you could say Dilo or Dillo, really. Yeah, dudes, I like this little fence, man. This is great. Great news. A couple more. I think we did not line up with this very well, but that's okay. Who gives a real crap anyways? It's so hard to tell. Ooh, might not let us do much more after this. Let's see. So I guess technically if we wanted to, we could, uh, can we? You got to let me game? We could close it off somehow like this maybe. It doesn't seem like it's going to let me anyway, so who cares? Good enough. There's our pin. Let's make a sign unless I just used all my wood when I spammed the button to make those last couple pieces. Sign. Craftables. We need to go to wood. And then I think it's got its own folder. Um, structures, wood, signs. Yeah, we got enough. We have enough. Craft it. We'll make our raptor sign. Then we'll go make the raptor saddle. Park the raptor. And then let's go look for the monkey of a thousand monkeys, perhaps? Perhaps. Oh, crap. What did I just do? Why is it making the sign? I just made a sign and put it in the five slot. What the hell was that? Game, come on. Now we've got two signs, don't we? Yep, now we have two signs. Don't need two signs, need one sign. The sign's enormous compared to the fence. Here we go, Raptor. Raptor. Let's go uh, see what we need to make for, I think we have to make the craft, the saddle on the smithy for that, but while we're here, might as well check, see if we can make it on us on our persons real quick. Do we have a saddles in here? Yeah, we do. Arventages, uh, Megalodon, Sarco, Pterodon, Raptor, it's right here. Easy peasy, 20 wood, 110. We're just missing the, the fiber, which I actually think Leroy has on him, so we're just really missing the wood. Yeah, we've got the fiber. So let's go get the wood, that's all. And we can make the Raptor saddle and, and test them out, take them on a test drive. Took four monkeys down south. Look, four monkeys down south, Lagan. Look for monkeys down south. I thought you were saying, look, four monkeys down south. I'm like, where? Where? I'm sorry, I read it like that at first in my head. Man, what the hell is that pterodon doing out there? Pterodons are weird, man. They spawn in the ocean sometimes. And you just see them sitting at the bottom. Game's a little weird like that. I think we needed 40, it said. We need 40 wood for a saddle. It even makes sense. Oh, it's hide we need, not fiber. Derpy derp derp. Derpy derp derp. Now we're all encumbered, but we'll get over to him and go get our hide from the house. Leroy, I need you. I am encumbered and refuse to drop anything. This is the speed I like playing the game at, right here. Thanks for joining me, guys, for that uh, Nessie tame. At least we got our project done for the day, which is great. A little bonus project. We ended up finding a really cool raptor when we first spawned in the game and got him all tamed up. We just built a house for him. Um, so he can be part of the zoo now, which is great. His own little exhibit over here, raptor. Every raptor is a pack animal, so we'll definitely need to get another one. So we'll keep an eye out for the raptor, uh, for a companion for the raptor. 
especially if we can find another colorful one. That'd be great. Uh, what else did we do? We, uh, we tested out one of the new mods, a graveyard mod, which is sick. We now have a grave for our dinosaurs that pass away because, for all extents and purposes, we have lost... Um, oh, what's his face? Sharknado. Very near and dear to me, as you can tell, by me calling him old what's-his-face. Look at that raptor saddle. Here we go. Craft it up. Craft it up. All right, we can put away a lot of stuff now. My scuba gear, we'll just put away for now because we're not going to be doing any aquatic stuff uh, for now. We're going to wait for him to add some more stuff to the game. Pretty much don't even need to go on the water anymore unless we need some pearls and stuff. Now I'm super weighed down, so this was not a good plan at all. Uh, put away 90 of you. Is that going to give me... Can we walk now a little bit? No. Nope. Raptor saddles. Okay, son of a bitch. I guess we're going to have to drop some stuff. Get rid of the wood for now. We'll pick it back up in a sec. All right, we can offload the rest of this stuff that we don't need. Kiting over here. I guess we can put the wood fencing I didn't use in here for now. I put weird stuff in here sometimes. These are fence foundations. This is found in the normal game. And look at the picture, right? You would think, perfect, rails. Nope. Those two poles go underground, and then you can set walls on top of the uh, horizontal pole. That's how those work. Whereas these work exactly as, how they look, how you just saw. Dumb, if you ask me. Should have been in the game the whole time. Can I pick up my wood now? Are we good? Let me walk a little bit. Let's put the wood in here. All right, we're going to put away the arrows and scuba gear now. I'm going to put the scuba gear in my important chest of things and stuff, I guess. Actually, I just double-click them, right? Yep, so I can. And all of you can go in here. Put the crossbow away. I think, actually, let's keep the crossbow in case we do see something we want to tame while we're out and about, yeah? That's probably a good idea. Uh, crap, I don't know which one in here. Just, oh, we still have it. We still have it on us. Good, good, good. 13 trank arrows, uh, 20 is probably good to have on us. Just in case, just in case we do see something while we're out and about in the wild, it's good to have that on us. What did I break? I broke my torch. So quickly before we go on our monkey hunt, just want to get the, okay. Pretty sure I was organized, but now I don't know where anything is. Just want to get what I need to make a torch. We're just down one rock, no big deal. All right, let's go uh, saddle up this, this here. What's on the ground here? Steak. Let's go saddle up this here raptor and park him in his cage, and then let's go look for a monkey. Uh, I'll need to bring some berries with me. I'm not doing the kibble thing. In case you're new around here, I use times 10 taming speed, so I got kibble all day without having to have kibble. Catch my drift. No? You just, these better fit these things. Alright, there we go. Epic colors. Epic. I love that. Beautiful. Beautiful raptor today. That was a good find. I'm quite pleased with this raptor. A good climber too, as you can see. And we jumped right in the pin, like a complete boss. And there you have it. This is your home. We'll get you a playmate later. And I'll actually put, I think, a feeding trough right at the back wall here, and you and Chompy can share it. Maybe even the sabers are close enough to get a piece of that. I don't know, though. All right, there you go. There's your new home. Let's check out Blooper's uh, stats. 610, stamina's pretty bad. Oxygen, blah, 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 blah. Needs a lot of work, but it's not horrible. Not horrible. Not a horrible start. Okay, how do we find the monkey, guys? Should we do it with the bird and fly really low? I think we can cover more ground that way, but you cannot see the monkeys from the air, so we're really going to have to just kind of hover above ground. So let's get a bird and go for it. I am going to run a 60-second commercial here in just a minute. So I can go to the restroom, need to pee, and we'll get started in just a second. I do like these. This is a much, it makes it more uh, open up here. I like it. I should probably do it to the sides too. Um, and just leave the back wall thatch. Let's we'll see if we have any more meat in here. Got a little bit, got a little bit. There we go. All right, I'm going to get a bird. And I guess we'll try. Oh, I need to get the berries too. Let me not forget the berries. Let me go down and get the berries before I forget right now. Who's got berries? I know Leroy's got berries on him, but let's go see if Bronto has berries. If not, we can use the Bronto for the first time on the stream to get some berries. I use them quite a bit off stream. 
It's just a horrible, horrible dinosaur that doesn't move at all very fast. Time to level you up. Yeah, you got plenty of berries, it would seem. Uh, stamina. Okay. Now, I'm going to bring some of these and some of the... Do we have any? Yeah, bring some of those. Okay. Both those should do. I don't know which one the monkey prefers, but we'll find out. It's one of the two. All right, guys, going to run a quick commercial break. If you want to uh, join me when I come back, that would be awesome. If you got to go, if you want to stretch, now's the time to do it. I'll be right back, guys. Thank you so much for joining me in the stream. See you in a sec. All right, we're back. We are back to the person who thought it was funny to say, ha ha, ad block, you are now banned for life. So ha ha ha, lagging wins. And guys, I say it every single time and I forgot to say it just then, but, um, but not everybody will get an ad. It's like region based. Sometimes it's a mobile thing. Sometimes it's not a mobile thing. So it's pretty iffy on who gets ads and when they get them. But Trust me, I did run an ad there, and some people did, in fact, get said ads, except for the guy who's ha-ha-ha ad block, and I accidentally, and if you're going to advertise it after I just said something, you're banned too. Goodbye. Hello, idiots. Come on. Use your brain. Um, so, anyways, anyways, let's go find a monkey now. Positive vibes. Breathe deeply. Breathe deeply. We're good. Just don't like idiots. I don't know why people must insist. You see, you'll never find a monkey this way. Uh, let's go by the base of the mountain where I saw one last time. And since there's no persistent gameplay, if he's still alive, he could still be in the area and we might be able to find him while on a bird. This bird's actually might need to fly him slow in order to see. Something like this is what we're gonna have to do to find these things. They're tiny. They're, they're about the size of a dodo or smaller. And they're certainly smaller than these bushes. So where I found one, where I saw one last time was right up here. Uh, oh my God. Well, let's check these guys out and see what their colors are like. Hang on. I don't see anything fancy though. Female, female. They're trying to attack that thing, but they can't. Now these are all like, these are all default dinos. They can't, they can't kill that once it's in its ball. I've tried myself to see if you can kill it when it's in a ball. I mean, I must have poked it for 10 minutes with a ramshackle pike and whatever my melee damage is, which is not small, and I couldn't kill it, so I don't think they're going to be able to either. Should use the saber? That's, that's a good point, but I think we're going to cover more ground this way because I can fly slow like this. You know, We'll see something scurrying about on the ground from about this height. But uh, with a saber, like, you know, you got to go around some of these rocks and stuff, and we can just kind of fly over them. I mean, the saber's not a bad idea, don't get me wrong. But we're already on the bird, so we've gone too far. We can't go back. I am going to fly it slow, though, so we don't miss. But this is where I saw a monkey last time, in, like, this fielded area around this mountain here. I doubt very seriously it's still alive. I don't know what the hell it's doing over here. But it was more towards these trees I'm flying towards now, so maybe we can find one still running around over here. Like I said, I spent... Did I just hear one? Hang on. They do make a noise, you guys, you know. Little monkey noises. Is that a ball of poop or a monkey? I'm going to go with that's a ball of poop. They're about that big, though. That's what we're looking for. 
There's a Dilo, a couple of Dilos. There's a Raptor straight ahead. If it's an Alpha Raptor, I want to fight it. I really want to fight an Alpha Raptor with my bird. We'll level him up real quick. But I don't think it is. Could be, though, because those tracks are getting pretty damaged. I don't think so. It doesn't seem to be big enough. Can't tell. It's just a wild female Raptor. 20, level 20. It'll be dead in a second. No way it's killing both those trikes. Is it? Is it? Trike number two, you need help? I'll help you. You don't want none of this, stupid raptor. You don't want none of this. Dead. All right, let's keep looking for the monkey. We're on a monkey journey. There's no guarantee that we'll ever see one, but the next one I see, I'm stopping whatever I'm doing and getting it, because I didn't realize when I saw that first monkey uh, and I scared him off, I would have found him. I would have kept going, but I said, oh, I'll find another one. But I never have seen another one, not ever. Slow us I'll go down south too. Someone suggested down south. So I'll check down south in just a minute. But first I want to check the last loan no, last known location that I personally saw one in. Some scorpions over here. Yeah, this is not a good spot for a monkey. I'm sure he's dead as hell by now. Please, Scorpion. Please. What are you doing? Stop it. Can't hit him, I don't think. Here, let's just pick him up then. We'll do this. Suck it. <laughs> gotta watch his toe though. He didn't get stung a lot just then. He might pass out. Yeah, he's gonna pass out. Let's take him somewhere. He'll probably pass out if I don't stim bury him. Hang on. There could be one down in this little cavern here, too, you know. Do we have some stims? Do we have some stims on the bird? It's always good to have stims on the bird. We do have a couple. Oh, he's got a ton of topar, actually. He'd probably be just fine. You want me to make monkey noises? You think they might come to me? Okay. You can pick the monkeys up with your bird? I'm sure I can, actually. Then we can fly him back home. And if he gets scared around home, uh, it'll be fine. It's a huge field. We'll find him again. You know what I mean? That's a good idea. Or will it kill him when I pick him up, though? You know, I don't want to kill him. Let's check around down here a little bit. And then we'll fly down south and, and take a look down south. Now, everybody's got their suggestions on where you can find them at. I've personally seen several streamers find them in many different locations on the map. I don't think there's one spot to find them at. But I'll still go down south. I don't mind. If I was a monkey, I'd hang out down south, too. Still have not found that elusive uh, Alpha Carno that was over in this area at one point and I have not seen again. He's evaded his death by bird. Although that would be probably pretty dangerous. My bird's not exactly the most health-hardy bird in the world. Here, hop off so we can get you some stamina. Stamina! Any monkeys running around? Nope. It's just never going to find one, guys. I'd like to find one. Who doesn't want a poop flinging furry turret on your shoulder at all times? I know I do. I know I do. Yeah, it's hard to see through this vegetation. They do like the jungled areas from, according to the dossier. What a weird French word that is. What does that even stand for? Dossier. What is it... Converted into English. I'm assuming it's French. Information pamphlet? <laughs> is that what dossier possibly means? Because that's what it is. It's information booklet we get on the animals. Oh, you know what, though? Okay, I'm not going to lie. Hang on. I totally forgot about that. this until just now. I did see a second monkey on this river, right? And he got stuck in the damn uh, rock face straight ahead of me. That cliff... And I punched him to death because I thought you were supposed to knock him out at first. I realized very quickly because it wouldn't let me put berries in him. I guess it was glitched. So I just beat him up, tried to knock him out, and ended up killing him. So I did kill a monkey by accident. On purpose. It was kind of on purpose, kind of on accident. I was pretty frustrated. 
I'm like, I'm going to knock him out. And if I can't, oh, well, he's going to die. It was like right here. He got all jammed up. Like half of his butt was sticking out of this cliff. So, yeah, I've seen two technically. There is a Spinosaurus. That's on our list, you know, guys. I do have the arrows to probably trank him. I am on my bird. I can definitely get some prime. Should we go ahead and get this out of the way and do the monkey another day? Let's talk and chat about that, guys. What do you think? I picked a monkey up for Mel on my server and dropped it. Bernie got scared and ran away. Yeah, maybe we can uh, drop it in a taming pen. That's an idea I just came up with, a taming pen. Never heard that suggested by anyone ever. Let's check this guy out. Let's see what we're working with here. We'll make a decision as a chat. It's a 17 with a... Uh, we don't really need it for anything other than just to have on the zoo. And with a all-prime tame, uh, I'll probably get a good 30 levels off that. Probably get him up in the 40s, which wouldn't be bad, starting Spino on this server. What do you guys say? Spino, get it out of the way or keep looking for the monkey? Oh, we're a little split here, let's see. Spino, monkey. Tame the Spino, monkey, Spino, monkey, Spino, monkey. Spino, 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 Monkey, Spino, Spino, Spino. I guess we need to do the Spino. It seems like Spino's won this one. A, a Monkey, a Saurus? A Monkey, a Saurus. Monkey, monkeys are more useful. They're useful on PvP servers. They can break into other people's bases. I don't know what he's useful. Is he going to pick some berries for me? I got many animals that can do that. I mean, I got to get them both anyways. This one's right here. Let's just tame him real quick. It shouldn't take long. Let's just tame him real quick. See what's what and who's who. See if we can get a tame on. Now, he can climb pretty well. So once I piss him off, he might fly up to that cliff top up there. All right, bird. Ah, oh, crap. My bird's going to get pissed. All right. Well, bird's going to kill him probably. If I can't get on my bird. There we go. I got on him. Good, good, good. Good, good. That bird would have killed him for sure. So we just like land here. This would be perfect, actually. Will you land here? You will. Thank you. Now he can't get me, and I can get him. Go to sleep. I'm sure this is enough arrows, but maybe not. It's a 17. It should be fine. Give him his fat stomach there. Both at the same time. All right, quick. Find the monkey. Shove berries in him. And keep shooting this with arrows. We'll do a dual tame. Maybe, maybe it's not going to be enough arrows. I think it will be, though. There it goes. There it goes. Cool. Now we're going to go find some prime. I do believe that thing goes through Topar pretty quickly, though. But look, the mountain's right here. I already see a Carno in the distance. No, I don't. I lied. But if we find some Stegosauruses, they'll give you some prime. That's a Pleosaur right there. Where's a bird? There's a bird. Sometimes they give you prime. Let's go. Let's go. I need the prime, please, bird. Don't fly off. This will only hurt for a minute. Only for a minute. Give me your prime meats. No, I said don't fly off. You just did the opposite of what I asked. You're not going anywhere. It's up to a shallow grave on lagging rock. The rest of the day. Give me prime. Thank you. Thank you, sweet bird. Sweet bird of my another prime. My lucky day from, from an advantageous. Not bad. One third. No. All right, so two prime. That'll get us started. And we can see what we're working with here. We can land, check out the uh, Topor level. Uh, see how quickly it's eating, and uh, we can uh, make an educated guess on how many pieces of prime we have. Now, good for us, we're really close to home, so we can get this thing to follow us home, and we can go right back on that monkey tame, monkey hunt. But there, we'll go ahead and get this guy out of the way. Perfect, perfect. Wonderful job, by the way, bird. Just went and got it. You just scored us two pieces of prime almost instantly. Love ya, mean it. Okay, we're going to throw that in. And it's going to eat another 30. So it eats pretty slow, actually. But do you see that topar there? Holy crap. That goes down quick. And this is what I've got for narcotics. So hopefully the spry will do a whole lot. Do I have any more narcotics than you? Sometimes I keep some narcotic buckets in my bird. Because I do just random tames when I'm flying around sometimes. But no, I don't. I don't. So he eats slow. But he wakes up fast. How about that? Okay, we're gonna. This is gonna be a good one, guys. It's gonna be down to the wire with what we're working with here. But that's okay. I think one piece of meat will probably third a third of the way tame him. So as long as he doesn't wake up before it takes him to eat three, and we've got those five narcotics, 
That's uh, I think that's gonna be about what was it about two hundred? That's not a lot. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Which one of you has the quicker spoil time? Even though we got them at the same time, they're exactly the same. All right, we'll come back in a second. Let's go get some more prime, and we'll see what that tame does. If not, we might have to fly home, get some buckets, and fly straight back. We'll, we'll like inject the five buckets I have on them, and then fly home, get some more buckets, and come back for them. That could work. Could work. Oh, look at all these stegos. Yes, dude. This is like, they they drop prime. Not every time, but there's three or four of them right here, so we should certainly get some prime. I think three. They're gonna they're gonna try to kill my bird though. They're not gonna like this very much, but it's happening. I need your meat more than you do. You're not even eating it. He has less rotation, 88, or something to double to be 22. What are you talking about? What are you guys talking about? Doing math math equations in chat? Always learning? Ooh, I haven't killed any of these yet. What's going on here? The high level stegs? This one's about to die, but geez, I've been hitting it a lot. I just want your prime without my bird dying, please. This better be like a level 70. A 33? Bird. You are weak, son. You gotta do better than that. I didn't give me any prime yet. That's not good. He's just getting beaten up by someone's tail. Stop hitting me. Still got plenty of health. I'm not worried about it yet. We'll be fine. I can force heal him too. Oh my god, these things are taking ages to kill. It's like a strong family here. Here's a prime. Okay. Would you not? You're gonna die for this. You're doing all the cheap shots from behind. All I was doing was killing your families, your brother, your sister, and your father. 48. Yeah, these were a, a nice, like, medium level herd of stegos. Good grief. I think I saw a T-Rex up here too. Let's uh, some mammoths up here. Let's get a couple more pieces of prime and we eat so slow though. I don't think I should collect as much prime, but let me just get one more piece and we'll fly down there and hang out for a little bit. Watch that taming bar. All right, chill, chill. Just let it happen. Oh, there's three of them. We'll certainly die if we stay here and try this, won't we? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push the limits here. We're gonna test it out. Okay, let's, let's piece the scene, let's piece the scene. Getting a little low on health for my likings, but we got one down. So if I can lure these guys away, I'll go get the prime off of them. Jesus, man. Do a little force healing there. Just give me a little extra, because we're gonna go down and try to get some right. They're trying to hit me, they can't reach me though. All right, cool. Let's, let's loop back around and see if we can get a little of that prime off this guy. I know he's gonna have some on him. Come on, there we go. There we go, there we go. All right, that's good, that's good. So we've got like three or four pieces of prime on us. I'm happy with that. That should be enough to finish taming this dude if it all doesn't spoil before he eats. He's a slow eater. I think you can mix. There's a rumor, I'm pretty sure it's a rumor and it does not work, that you can pump stems and that will speed up the taming process because they get hungrier quicker, but I don't actually think that's the case. I think it's been busted on several people's streams before. How much longer will the stream be? I don't want to miss anything. I don't know. I don't know. We're uh, going on to hour number two here in about eight minutes. And we're trying to tame this uh, Spinosaurus. So I'm not quite sure what we're doing after that. We might uh, see if we can find a monkey. They're pretty rare, though. I mean, you can fly around for hours and not see a monkey. So I don't want it to be the most boring stream in the world. So we just did a little pit stop to get uh, another exhibit for the zoo here. The best zoo in all of the land. All right, let's see how he's doing on the tame. And on his wake up level. Okay, yeah, we got problems here. We got problems. He's definitely gonna be awake before the tame's over. So we gotta fly home. Let's spam those really quick. Let's fly home. And um, uh, what we're gonna have to do here though is possibly ruin the tame. I'm gonna put some prime on him. And I'm gonna put, uh, we gotta go get some more narcotics. Uh, he might wake up before we get back. It's gonna be close. I'll put some of those on him. Okay, let's just go and hope for the best. And yeah, we got problems here. I could pick some narco berries, but that's just, I mean, what the hell's the point? I think the shark... Oh, shit. Uh, we've got some... I was about to say, I think our shark that is lost has all of our narcotics on us. Hey, there's another one right there. Um, but I actually think we have some extra in the in the chest. If we can get home, get the narcotics, and get back before he wakes up, I'm going to be pretty surprised. 
His freaking Topar level is moving, man, moving. This is no joke, so let's see. Yeah, Bruce Wayne's fine, guys. He made it. I tested him out. He got, he got that one kill I wanted. <laughs> he almost died for it, but he got it. He got it. Could have been worse. But it's not. Not this time. Let's get, we just got to get this. Uh, I say we have about five minutes before he wakes up. This is a slow bird, so I might switch over to my Pterodon to get back in time. But then, with the Pterodon, we're not going to be able to collect any Prime. So hopefully the Prime that we have on him will be enough. Doubt it. Doubt it. I might just risk flying back. Nah, I got to get the Pterodon. It's, it's the only way to go. Like It's not important that his tame is a high tame and we get the taming effectiveness in the 90s. Because he's just going in the zoo. We really don't have a need for him at all. Other than, I want to collect one of everything. And he's on the list. That just leaves the mammoth and the monkey and the... A uh, little fat cow thing after we get this Spinosaurus home, if we in fact get it home. Pretty sure I'm right here. I'm going to swoop down in our house, right to that chest, get it, and go back. Oh, where the hell do I live? I think it's right here on the other side of these trees. It's going to be dark too on the way back. It's not good. We don't have a torch set up, and I don't have a rock on me. Boy, this is good planning, lagging. Great planning, friend. Actually, I think we can get back in time with this bird. I'm going to keep this bird. I'm going to keep this bird. I'm going to take a chance to keep this bird. I should have some in here. Yes, I do. Grab it all. Because I have no idea. Let's go. Okay, let's get stuck. Leroy, get out of the way. It's precious, valuable seconds for ticking off the clock. Let's go. All right, back to the river, guys. And hopefully we get back in time. And he's not awake. Otherwise, we have just wasted... Our taming opportunity, and we only have 10 arrows left. Could be enough to put him down. What did it take? It took 10 to put him down. Didn't we have 20 to start with? Or 17 to start with? I don't even know what we had to start with. Uh, where is it? This direction, this direction. Come on, let's get back to it. I'll get a rock and a flint and a piece of wood and make a torch once we land and put the narcotics in them and get them nice and sleepy. Sleepy time. Let Bruce Wayne follow while you fly the pterodon. Yeah, but that I would climb up the ladder. It's a whole thing. And we're already on the way back now. It's already happening. Valuable seconds climbing up ladders. I don't know if... I think he's probably going to be maybe awake by the time we get back. I threw five on him at 40, 40 topor um, levels per. So maybe that's enough to keep him down. We'll see. Should be right up here. It's dark. I know, guys. Sorry. We'll get back to him in a second. I'll do a torch for us. I'll throw some torches around him, too. I'll make a few torches and just throw them all over the ground so we can keep an eye on him during these deadly nighttime hours. Now, hopefully this other Spinosaurus didn't come up and decide to nom on him. That would not be good. Where the hell is he? Crap, where's that cliff? Uh, must be a little further up. A little further up. Around the corner here. Around the corner. Yep, straight ahead. Straight ahead. So hard to see. There's the other Spinosaurus still in the water, so that's good news. He's not over here messing with our Spinosaurus. Can I make another torch? No, I don't have a rock on me. That's the one thing I think we're missing, just a stone. A simple little stone. All right, it's around here somewhere. Oh, God, bugs are following me. Not good. Not the time right now, bugs. That's a, I think that's a... I can't see... Sh I can't see anything! Okay, I gotta, I gotta hop off and, and make a torch. I can't see. I can't even see to find him, but he's right there somewhere. Torch me, baby. Torch me. Oh, crap. Spino's here. Get your ass back. Get him, bird. Don't let him embarrass you like that. There you go. Atta boy. Atta boy. Bird got him. Bird got him. Should have some prime on him. But first, let's, let's, uh, yeah, y'all, oh, those damn bugs are going to eat him. I've got to get this guy knocked out. Where the hell is he? Oh, he's right over here somewhere. Oh, shit, where is he? Did something eat him while we were gone? Pretty sure we had him tranked right here, guys. I think something ate him. I feel like he was right here. Damn it, I am almost positive something ate him while we were gone. I'll be a son of a bee. 
Yeah, he's dead as hell. He's not here anymore. And we just killed the other one, so crap. Because I can always make some more arrows now that I have all this trank on me. I don't see him. This was where he was at. Look at this little cave that's not a cave yet. I wonder what the developers are making. New cave hype. Was he not right here? He was right here, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, we lost the Spino. He got eaten. Damn it. Whoa. Look at that guy. Looks like, uh, looks like a tiger, a Bengal tiger. I hate these little freaking bugs. Get out of here. There's still another one. Okay. They're just so hard to turn on. Well, that's what I get for stopping my monkey tape or my monkey hunt. That's what I freaking get. I can't. I killed him? Oh, was that him? Was that him awake and then I killed him? I thought it was the one from the river on approach. So maybe the one on the river is still there then. And you saying lag and rechat doesn't make me rechat. I can only rechat when I'm looking at chat. I can't hear you saying lag and rechat. Like, you guys have to know that by now. Come on. We're not stupid here. We're not stupid here. So maybe then the other one when I was flying in is still down there. If what you guys are saying is that mine woke up and then I just murdered him, then that means this one wasn't, I thought maybe one came that we saw when we first flew in here. Let's see if we can find that second one then, which will be in this direction. Perhaps we can tame it. So yeah, he woke up. We didn't make it back in time. Well, it's easy for all of you guys to conspire over there. And one of you come up with a theory, right? Oh, that must be the one. He woke up and lagging just killed it. See? I'm just, there's just one of me, okay? Just one of me. Look, there, there, we'll get this guy. We'll get this guy. Hey, dummy. When you're finished fighting, whatever that is, why don't you come over here? What level are you? Oh, you're going to die. I got to help him. These things are going to wreck him. They indeed have a lot of health, these things. I got one. I got one. The rest is up to you, man. Don't bite me, though. Oh, we got to land. Get some uh, stamina back for this guy. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I killed my own spino. Whatever. I was trying to eat my bird. My bird killed him. What do you want him to do? Well, I say you're not stupid sarcastically if you're the one shouting. Of course, I don't think you're stupid. But of course, rag and, lag and re-chat, lag and re-chat. I can't hear that. You understand? It's obvious when I see that, I will then see it. But I can't hear you saying lag and re-chat. It's not the first time that's happened. People yell at me all the time. They just yell at me. Like, I, can, I can't see you. I can't hear you. I can only look when I'm looking. My bad. It's all calm down. It's calm the F down. It's a video game. We're having fun. I think we're having fun. I would like to get up on top of it. Okay. I would really like to get on top of this bird. You did not do a good job landing for me. Here, let's go up here a little bit. How's this? Ooh, special little cove up here. I can dig it, birdie bird. All right, let's take him down. Where is he? I don't know if this will be enough arrows. I don't know what level he is. Don't even care. Let's find out. What level are you? 30? Yeah, this is not going to be uh, enough arrows, I'm afraid. But let's get it started anyways. <laughs> let's just get started anyways. We're going back to the monkey hunt. Screw this. We'll get a spine out a little bit. If he goes down on these nine arrows, great. I sincerely, I, I doubt it. I very much doubt it. Come on. Do it for me. Just go to sleep anyways. Got one more arrow. If he passes out, then good for us. Fall asleep. We can make some more arrows. 
Do I have what I need to make a couple arrows? Let's just see. I don't think so. I think I'm missing something, but let's just find out. Weapons, ammo, missing fiber, really? It's fiber? Oh, hey, maybe we get some fiber real quick. What if we're just like two arrows off, you know, from putting them down? Come on, fiber, 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 fiber. And then if I get some more, uh, this is a cool little area up here, isn't it? Get some more of this, that'll probably help. Make some arrows. All right, we should be able to make a few arrows now. One arrow? <laughs> what? What am I missing? Thatch. Okay, damn it. It's gonna. It's, this is how it's gonna be. I'm gonna make some arrows now. Ooh, lots of thatch. Okay. Make some more. There we go. Four. We can make four, guys. We did it. Um, crossbow. Can I hit him from this far? I'm sure I can. Yep, I'm hitting them. This isn't going to be enough, is it? Oh, we got him, guys. It was actually worth stopping and making those last few arrows. Wow. All right, you little bastard. Huh? Let's try this again. God, Bruce Wayne, don't start eating him. What are you doing? Let's put these on him immediately. Let's go get some damn meat for this guy. Why don't you go waking up anytime soon now? What's your toe part? Holy crap, it's already just, it's moving, man. It's moving. Come here, bird. We got to go get some, get some white meat from the dinosaurs. Do I have LSV in America? It's an energy drink? I don't think I've heard of LSV before. Is, is that was LS? Is that an L or an I? I'm sorry. It's a little, uh, a little tiny on my, my monitor. We'll go up here and finish these mammoths off. All right, guys, we're getting this thing. Damn it. You know me, I'm pretty persistent when it comes to doing stuff, and you know, we'll just keep trying until we get it. It's going home with us one way or the other. I don't care if I have to drag it home. There's a lot of freaking raptors right there. We're going to pretend like we don't see them and just go for this guy. Now, if, that's one, if one of them's an alpha raptor, though, it might be worth going for because they can get a ton of prime meat. That stacks. All right, give me some prime. Don't be. There we go. There we go. More prime? Come on. Come on. No. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Remember me? I'm back. I see you still have the scars from our last fight. Give me your primes. All of your primes, please. Thank you. Okay. Now we can go back and start taming this thing. Keep an eye on his topor level. We'll do this. We'll do this. I killed the first one, huh? That's pretty funny now. It's pretty funny now that we've got a second one down. Wasn't very funny a minute ago, though. Yeah, Mr. Wayne has zero chill. He just he goes in hot and he kills things. That's what he does. Give him some more health. I've only been doing his health and his um and his melee damage. I haven't worked on his stamina as all his stamina at all or his carry weight, I don't believe. He's pretty much just my prime collector, and he fights things. I like having him around for those reasons exactly. All right, here's our buddy right here. He's surrounded by nice animals, so that's good. I don't see any dilos or scorpions in the area. Keep an eye out for those guys. All right, let's grab, a, let's grab a couple. Plop a couple down. Grab some meat. This is kind of regular meat on there, too. I like to do that just in case I don't get back in time with prime, and it won't reset the tape. Jesus, man, would you come on, game? Come on now. Getting super laggy. All right. He'll be eating. What the hell is this? Now i got to figure out math now. When does he eat if he does every 50? So uh, 70. So 3,070 is when he'll eat. He's still got a little ways to go before he eats. That freaking un unbelievable how quickly this thing wakes up. That is insane. Luckily, we might have enough narcotics for it with our taming speed, but it's still going to be a close race, I think, even with this much. Go ahead and use a few. Screw it. Use that many. My math is correct. That'll fill it right back up. I didn't do any math. I just spammed it. I just spammed it, you guys. I want to see. Actually, we don't need to stick around. We know that a good amount is going to get filled up on those first two that he's going to eat. Let's go ahead and shove the third one in there, although it'll spoil before he's ready to eat it. So we'll just go get some more here in a minute. What is this freaking... Dimorphodon doing. Get your ass out of here. 
Six minutes, six minutes, probably six minutes, yeah. Okay. Okay, let's just hang out here. There's no point in going to get more spoiled. He eats so damn, or more prime. He eats so slow. We're just going to have to wait a minute. We can chill. What's up, guys? What, what are you guys doing? Uh, if you ever come to England, get some from Morrison's, Tesla, or Tes yeah, Tesla, Tesco's. Is it Tesco's or Tes? There's an L in there? It's certainly an L. Or Asda. Okay, I'll try some if I ever come over there. Yes, I remember the Spino that got murdered last by he who shall now be not, not be named. Look at this guy. These are pretty cool dinos. I do like them. Oh, we can get up on top of his little fin, huh? Look at us. Look at us. Taming stuff. Under the ground is always water. I've noticed when I go into this camera angle, no matter where you're at, it's like the whole world when they created it from a blank slate is they just filled the whole thing with water and then built on top of it. Because every place you look is just water underneath it. That's why when you fall through the caves, you have to swim out to the ocean to get back in the game. It's pretty weird. But I don't know anything about developing maps. Maybe that's the easiest way of doing it. So, uh, got a ways to go before he eats again. But he does have five minutes left on both of these. I think you'll get a second one in him. But it might be worth time to go finding our next victim here. That we will eat or harvest its meat from. There's a, there's a stegosaurus there. It's getting foggy too. I hate that. One of my least favorite weather events that happens in this game. Because if it's dense enough, you really can't see anything. It's so easy to get lost. I'm going to kill you. I don't want you to think this is for no reason at all. I need to tame something. It's important to me. Stand there and take it. Take it. There you go. Now, are you going to give me what I need? Hmm? Just one piece would be good. Oh, you. You died for no reason. Sorry. Sorry. There's some birds this way. And we saw all those raptors a second. Oh, my God. I bet those birds and raptors were just going at it. Why are there so many birds over here? Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at the colors on this one. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool looking Argentine. Arvin it's a hawk. Looks really cool. I'm going to kill it, though. I don't have time for a foo foo bird. We'll find something better than that one. But keep in mind, there are alpha everythings now, okay, since I added that mod. So one of these could, in fact, be an alpha bird. I don't know. We'll have to keep an eye out next time we see a really cool color animal with our scope and uh, see if we can tame an alpha version. That was a cool color, though. I don't think that's a default color. I've not. Whoa, look at this one! Yes. You guys can have my scraps. It's fine. Get a little bit. All right, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Hey, chill, chill, chill. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Don't follow me back to my team. Don't do it. I'm going to fly away from my team just in case these guys are following me until they come off of me. Let's see. They're still on me? The, the white one is. The albino one is. The white. And, I just, did I just see another white animal down here too? What's down here? Maybe it was a rock. Hang on. I think I saw something right here. No, is this that? Yeah, the pterodon. Hey. Look at you. Cool. I've not seen an albino pterodon before. That's pretty neat. All right, they, they're not on me anymore. We can go down to our tame. Last thing you want to do is take a bunch of birds down to your tame. They'll just tear them apart. The hell is our tame? Around here somewhere. Right down here, I believe. There she is. I see the fin of 1,000 fins. Could be about to eat any second now, I'm thinking. Still got three minutes on that. And yeah, it's got about 13 more food points before it eats its next bite. Watch out, Bruce! Can't have that scorpion around here. No, no, no. No, no, no. Dead. Got him. Taking out the trash. Wow. Another one. Get out of here. Did I grab him? I don't think I grabbed him. Hang on. I get him. I get him. Ugh. Come here, you. Can't have this guy over here.
Let's just shake him. We're just shaking him until he dies. There he goes. It's a violent death. Anybody else around here? Want a piece of Bruce Wayne? What the hell are you doing? What is that? What died here? Oh, it's the big fat thing. We need one of those anyways. It's the big fatty. All right, just eight, just eight. So, uh, about halfway. Not bad, not bad. Okay, I think we're going to be fine. I think we'll have enough narcotics. Uh, two pieces of meat got him halfway tamed. Almost halfway tamed. Now, the thing is, is that I don't think... I think this will spoil before he's ready to eat again. So, I did get a couple more pieces. I'm going to throw them in there real quick. They'll have a longer spoil time on them. Let's go ahead and plop them in there. Yeah, Spino, you definitely... If you're playing this without boosting your taming time, you're definitely going to want a preserving bin. My goodness. So, yeah, that's going to spoil any minute now. And these still have five minutes. So we can definitely get one of... You can eat one of these. We'll have to go get more. I need to wait before going to getting prime is what I really need to do. There's some stegos right down there. We could get lucky. Um, yeah, because there's no point in getting prime if it's taking them this long to eat. I should really wait a little further in between prime collecting. I keep an eye on this. Topar as well. I just shoved him with a few narcotics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's almost... Is that exactly halfway? No, it's a little under halfway tamed, I believe. Uh, Finland, question mark? What's up with Finland? Have I been to Finland? I have not been to Finland, if that's what you're asking. Sleep is for the week. Nightbok just said that. It's true. And a ton of narcotics. Yeah, obviously a ton of narcotics. Let me tell you. I have 100 narcotics. If this was default taming... In fact, I did tame one of these default tame. Um, Chaos had to come over. And keep bringing me uh, narco berries. We had to build a mortar and pestle right there next to them, and just keep getting spoiled meat. Like chaos would keep having. To, I came. I came with a hundred. Didn't know, know really what to expect. I think it ended up taking me five hundred narcotics to tame my first, my very first one of these guys. About five hundred. No, no lie. Because he just kept wanting to wake up. His unconscious level is still going up from when I gave him some narcotic buckets. That's good. I think it stopped now though. 99.8% effective. That's good. We're going to get 14 levels. That's a 44 as it stands right this second. I'm curious? All right. You can just walk through him, I guess. I guess if that, hey, I want to take a look at this guy. Where are you going? I want to take a look at you. You look really cool. You look really, really cool. Come land. 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 Level 12. You an alpha? Would they make an alpha for a passive? I doubt it. For like, yeah, it's just a female. I don't think the bot put them on the non-aggressive animals. Ooh, I think I see a bird up here. Hold on a minute now. Oh, it's just that pterodon flying away. Okay. All right, dude. You about to eat again? Okay, yes. Close. And that'll definitely make it. So we do need to go get some more meat. Just a minute. I'm going to go down here and... and, and See, I don't think the Stego's going to give us any, but we'll try anyways. Stego's have not been nice today so far. You're stuck. And now you're dead. Oh, stupid uh, dragonflies are coming in too. I think I hit one. My meal. Let me get it. Thank you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nope. 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 Alright. Didn't get didn't get a prime. So we'll go back up on the mountain. We'll find something. Good guy chaos. Yes, you helped out a lot, man. You helped out a ton. I'd have never gotten that thing tamed. You just kept coming on by with your crocodile. Like, here's some more. Here's some more. And then eventually you just be like, you know what? Here, I'm just gonna bring over a bunch of narcotics. I had to pay you back. Dude, is this an albino advantageous right for us? Shut your bitch. Why is that the new thing I'm saying today? Shut your bitch. Yeah, look, he's got blonde hair. It's a little level five. I'm pretty though. We'll need you for our meat collection, I'm afraid. Just come here. Let me eat you. This won't take long. Disperse this guy. Burst of him. Come here, you. Is 
Come on. There we go. That's what we need. Just one will do, really, but I'll finish cleaning them up. Because I think at the time it takes them to eat two, they spoil. So really, we just need one at a time, really. So we don't need to get, go on big no-chill murder spree, uh, no-chill rampage killing sprees right now. Just one at a time will do it. Oh, here comes the scorpion. Let's get rid of him before he gets any closer. Before he gets any closer, I'll handle it, Trike. Don't hit me, though. Handled. I just fear something's going to eat this dude while we're gone one of these times trying to get some prime. I hate when that happens, man. Little freaking dilos almost every time will ruin my tames. All right. Yeah, he definitely ate again. Now this one's going to spoil in 50 seconds, and no way is that getting to 70. So let's put a fresh one on him. And let's pump him full of narcotics again, because I think that's a little less than halfway now. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's put about 20 in there. There we go. That's probably it. That'll probably do. I think he's uh, one or two pieces of meat away from being tame, so we'll have him there in no time, guys. And by no time, I mean it's going to take a little time because he's very slow at eating. But in no time, if you think about it, if you think about it. Yes, if you watched my video yesterday, tittygaming.com was the thing we discussed, of course. But you can't put links in here. That is against the rules unless you are a subscriber. So it got, ba it got, it got deleted. But you're not banned or anything. Don't worry about it. We still need to name our plesiosaur when we get home. Plesiosaur. Plesiosaur. Okay. Yeah, we'll need one more piece after this. I think. I don't think he's going to wake up on this meat. But if he does, cool. If not, we'll go get another piece. Looks like Godzilla. And we're going to need to uh, name this guy as well. Is this a male or female? It's a female. Okay. It's a she. It's a she-male. And the plesiosaur. I'm still not sure I'm going to name that plesiosaur. I want it to be perfect. <laughs> and a big part of me just wants to call him Flappy because he's got these big four Flappy battles. We call him Flappy the Plesiosaur. It's pretty silly. And then, guys, that's it after that. I mean, we only have two more two more to tame after that. The Mammoth. Oh, three more. The Mammoth, the Monkey, and the Fat Cow thing. Uh, and that'll be it. That'll be it for the taming of the animals until they start putting some new ones in. I can put a mod that'll allow me to tame a boa, but... Yeah, the hell do you need a boa for? <laughs> you know, ride around on a snake. That'd be dumb as hell, I think. How are we doing? About to eat? About to eat soon. Okay. Is that going up? That's going up. Still having the effects of the uh, narcotics we fed it. That's good. That's still heading in the right direction for us. Why do people say 115? Because that's that's how we say it. Element 115. That's how they say it. That's how the characters say it. That's how the people at Treyarch want us to say it. That's how it's presented to us. If you think the proper way of saying it is element 115, then I'm sorry you are wrong. Because there is the real element 115 on a periodic table. But that's not what we're talking about in the video game. So there's the answer to your question, my friend. I could indeed say that I'm playing with my snake if I have a snake tamed that I can ride around. Indeed. Touche. Touche, of course. Yeah, I'll show you the Nessie when we get back. I'll definitely be signing off uh, around the Nessie when we are finished with today's episode. It's for everybody who didn't get a chance to see it. It's kind of in a... The pin doesn't... It doesn't fit well in the pin, but well enough. He kind of flies. He's, he's floating above the water by about a good five feet. Because he's jammed in that pin. Nah, didn't finish on that last piece of meat. We need one more. One more prime. And I don't think this one's got enough spoil time on it to last until he's ready for... Maybe. Maybe. Let's see. This will be... We'll lose some levels if I'm wrong here. It'd help if I put it on me during the transfer, though. We're going to lose some levels if I'm wrong here. But we won't lose the tame 
taming bar because we have some raw in them too, right? Yeah, we got some raw in there, so. All right. 412. Anybody good at math? This needs to get down to uh, 3,070 before it'll eat. And it looks like we're doing 0.1 every less than a second. This has got four minutes. I think we can do it. I think it'll be, I think we'll have a minute to spare. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. If you're good at math, you can figure that out. I gave you the tools you needed. Do it. No, it is a real element in the periodic, uh, in the uh, you, in the elemental chart. You can check it out yourself. It's unattainium. Un, unattainium. Unattainium. It's a real element. One one five. But in the game, it's a meteor. You know, it's a meteor. So. Un um pent okay well. It's un un. There's two uns. About a minute or two. Let's see how we're looking. Three minutes left, and this is just now about to break the th under the three thousand uh, one hundred mark. So we'll need thirty more of those to come off before it'll eat. I think we got it. I think we got it. It's gonna be close though, it is gonna be close. I, th I think we'll have about a minute to spare. But now that I'm looking at that, I think we're gonna have less than that. It's gonna be very close. But it won't ruin the tame, like I said. The taming bar will stay. He'll just eat a piece of raw meat, which will probably finish up the tame, and we won't lose the taming effectiveness. Either way, I think we're okay. I think one piece of raw meat should move that taming bar enough, even if it's not the prime, if that makes sense. I'm sure that makes sense. Well, it depends on what you're buying, but if you want to uh, go check out the Control Freak website, just look under any of my videos on YouTube, and um, it'll take you a link. Uh, it, there'll be a link you can press, and that'll be like my affiliate link. So if you do buy them, you can save 10%. Um, there's, there's several things that you can buy, several Control Freak products. So it's not like one universal cost for any one thing. But typically, most people spend about $15.00 on a pair of uh, grips. I like the FPS Freak, or the Phantoms. Um, there's the Black Ops 3 reveal, which are really popular right now. And there's new grips for your uh, controller handles, actually, that I have on, on the controllers I play with. It works really well. I don't have to worry about sweaty palms anymore. Lagging, I just came. I want to see Nessie. Cool, man. Well, you'll just have to wait a minute. We're taming something right now. I will be showing Nessie at the end of the episode for anybody who didn't get to see her. But if you can't stick around, don't worry. The, the, the video will be on Lag and Live a little bit uh, tomorrow, probably. Or you can watch the replay here on Twitch. Although I usually would prefer we promote my Lag and Live channel, my second YouTube channel. I can make those replays back on Twitch private, I believe. But I don't want to be a dick or anything and force you guys to go check out my second YouTube channel. But that's where I prefer you watch them at. Because that's where I get paid that money. I get paid over here too, but that YouTube money. That YouTube money, though. I do when I'm playing certain games. I'll use, um, I'll use the grip. A single grip. And they are the Phantoms, like I said. That's what I prefer. Lagging, have you ever been shot like in the foot or something? No? Question of the day right there, though. That's that's about as random as they get. Why would you ask? Do you, have you been shot in the foot? Is that something like you experienced a lot in your life? Oh, hey. There we go. We got it, guys. We got it. All right, someone name this dumb thing for me so we can take it back home. Someone name it. Let's see some names. I'll just see what you guys put in chat there, and then I will uh, just pick one that I think is... Pretty clever for this guy, or cool, or, I don't know, fun. There's no wrong answer for a suggestion, but I am only going to be able to pick one, so don't be offended if I don't pick yours. Level 44. Uh, How would we do on everything? The health got up to almost 2,000. Melee went up a little bit. I don't even think I checked this one's stats, actually. Stamina's okay. Movement speed's okay, I guess. I got Zilla, Blaze It. A lot of Godzillas. A lot of Godzillas. Your mom... 
Hmm. I don't think I'm going to name it after your mom, although she probably does look similar. Shrek. A lot of Godzillas. I, I don't think that I cannot name it Godzilla now. There's too many Godzillas. All right, we'll go with Godzilla. Let's go with Godzilla, I suppose. Godzilla. All right, Godzilla, let's go home now. Let's get it home. And I guess we'll set up a pin next to the uh, Rex. The Rexes. That's, they'll be good neighbors. They'll be friends. Are you a dude? This is a female? I got nothing but like ladies living at the house. Just like in real life. Hey oh. Not really. Not really. Am I flying the wrong way? I got turned around reading chat. I always do that. I start reading chat. Next thing I'm up, my birds point straight at the ground or going in the wrong direction. It's racist when I say Godzilla. Okay, well you don't have a funny bone then and I'm very sorry. I don't think that's racist at all. A lot of Asians pronounce uh, a lot of letters with R's. That's actually pretty accurate from my experience with some Asians. I don't think that's racist. It's a stereotype, I'll give you that. But I think stereotypes can be funny if they're not, if you're not being an absolute asshole about them, which I was not. So let's get a little funny bone in us. Okay, let's have one of those. Learn to loosen up a little bit. You're not gonna like uh, you're not gonna like real life very much if that's how you're going through it. Gotta shake the shoulders, loosen the joints up a little bit. Yes, I have scumbag lagging. Uh, blooper, are you leaving now? Oh, well, this is the thing. Let's see how this plays out. Should we help? We just tamed this thing. We should probably help to ensure its survival. All right, I'm coming. This could be a high level. Where the hell did you come from? Don't you kill my spino now. Ooh, kind of, there we go. Get out of here. Good girl. You actually did that. I helped a little bit, but you did that. Let's see if we get a Rex helmet in here. No, no Rex helmet today. Do you want to eat that thing? You can if you want. I don't mind. Here, I'll finish it off for you, and I'll, I'll give you some meat when we get back to the house. It's your kill. You did that. Don't give you all this meat. This is yours. All right, come on. Come on, little girl. See, now everybody's saying Godzilla. It can't be racist if everyone's saying it. I do know what you mean, though, okay? I do know what you mean. It's a stereotype. I acknowledge that. But clearly I was being funny and not a racist. All right, uh, Brittany, if you left, I'm sorry. I... I just saw your message, so goodbye. Thanks for stopping by the stream. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you later. TTYL. Netflix and chill. Yeah, I did say I was going to stream The Forest, uh, but I accidentally missed... I didn't accidentally miss my stream yesterday. I tried setting up this stream we're watching right now, yesterday... Uh, but I couldn't get everything grinded out that I needed to get grinded out. I needed to do a lot, kind of, to uh, get prepared for the tame that we did earlier in the stream. So I had to skip yesterday's stream, which has now pushed everything back a day. Tomorrow, 100%, we'll be streaming the forest. But plans change sometimes, so my apologies if you were super hyped about that today. Just one more day, we'll have the forest. I've uh, already reinstalled it back on Steam, getting all the updates from the last several months that I haven't played on it with, and... Uh, we will certainly be playing it very soon here on the channel. Let's see if we can get him to loop around and get him to park temporarily in his spot before we actually get it built. Let's see, though. Hey, doing good, doing good. We did see an alpha, um, an alpha Dilo today. That was kind of fun. I guess we're going to wait another day for the monkey tame now. like a glove right in your new spot that's where you'll be at let's make sure you're not following anymore stop and as promised i'm going to give him some meat that he earned he did earn all this meat at the bottom it's pretty much all of hers hers she of course she lagging did you ever play mount and blade warband no i've never played that not heard of that one either i don't know i don't know about that one yeah i do hate the forest i hate the forest I, and I don't play games I hate, but when I first started playing The Forest, I quite enjoyed The Forest until I discovered all of its bugs 
that made it very, very frustrating to play, which is why I stopped playing it. But I haven't played it in several months, and I've, like I said on Twitter, I'm willing to give it another try because it's been so long. I assume there's been many updates, many uh, optimizing, many an optimizing? No, that can't be right. Probably a lot of optimizing by the developers since the last time I've played it. I'm hoping for a much smoother experience, and if that's the case, then I think we'll have a good time. Because the game itself is a lot of fun. I mean, survival like this, replace the dinosaurs with cannibals, bada boom, we're going to build stuff, we're going to craft things, should be fun, but everything was broken in that game. Like, nothing worked the way it should, and it was very frustrating. As you can imagine, when you spend a lot of time collecting resources and building stuff, and nothing works, it just sucks. So, that's why I stopped playing it. All right, Godzilla, look at this, guys. Look at what we have done. Okay, so if you've just joined the stream, we're about to wrap it up for the day. But we've got a uh, blooper over here, new exhibit to the zoo. We'll have to build, build a pen for Godzilla. Probably do that off cam. It's kind of a boring build. But we've got a raptor, and we actually tested out a new mod that I installed, which are these wooden fence posts. Instead of doing walls all over the place, wooden fence posts look a little better. And as you can see, the other mod, I am freezing to death. I do see that. Well, let's not worry. i got plenty of time before I die. The other mod I installed is something called Better Dinos Mod. And it gives you dinosaurs with cooler paint like color schemes. And as you can see, this is one of them that we found today. Look at the color scheme on this guy. Awesome, absolutely awesome. Another one we installed, actually that's another feature of the Better Dinos mod is that there is an alpha of every species now, which we did see the Dilo, or I guess every aggressive species. So we saw the alpha Dilo and killed it earlier. Um, I was hoping that we could tame it, uh, but I got a little overzealous and killed it before I realized it was an alpha. Uh, we obviously just tamed this guy, added him to the zoo. That leaves, we'll need a mammoth. We'll need a big fat pleosaur, I want to say they're called. And we'll need a monkey, and then that's our full zoo. Now I'm going to take you up on top of Lag and Rock here, where I'll show you the other mod that we installed. Okay, guys, that's enough. Show you the other mod we installed. Uh, so what we did earlier is we went down and tamed a Loch Ness monster. I'll show you that in just a minute. A Nessie or a plesiosaur, as they're called in the game. Uh, but doing so, we lost our shark. He's presumed dead now, although it didn't give us a message. Um, so it gave us a chance to check out our latest, our newest mod that we added to the game, and that's Animal Graves, uh, courtesy of Chaos over there. He told me about this one, so I looked it up and found it. And we can add a variety of different uh, headstones, right? So we chose the shark with or the cross with the skull on top, and you could uh, rest in peace, Sharknado. It actually adds a dirt mound with some rocks right there. So this is where Sharknado now rests. This will be our memorial rock up here, and it overlooks the sea. It's a great place for a final resting place for a shark, I think. Uh, but as you can see in the crafting menu here, there are quite a few different, uh, let me get to it real quick. There's actually quite a few different headstones we can choose from. So we'll, I think we'll try one of each uh, before this series is over, even if we don't kill off all of our dinos. But look, there's one like triple spears, uh, triple spears with a skull. That's the one we did. There's a regular tombstone. Uh, there's this one, which has the three different three different skulls on top of spears. Looks pretty cool. This one's a supply crate one. That'll look pretty cool. The things that float down from the sky. Uh, there's your classic uh, uh, Celtic cross there. And I think that's it. I think that's all of the ones we have to choose from. So that's a pretty cool mod added. And then last but not least, the first thing we actually started off the stream with was taming what I'll show you in just a second. Uh, it's nighttime, so you might not be able to see him great, but we'll do a flyby. He doesn't fit in the pin very well, unfortunately. He's kind of stuck above the water. But mission accomplished. We got ourselves a Loch Ness Monster who flies, apparently. As you can see, we go right underneath. Okay, well, the bird's drowning now. That's not what we were trying to do. Bruce Wayne, hang on, buddy. Okay, he's stuck above. All right, we're fine. Okay, let's see. Uh, this is kind of a situation I find myself in now. Let me get out of the pin and correct all this crap. Bruce, I need you. I need you in my life. In order to get Bruce, I'm going to have to say follow, aren't I? All right, hang on. All right, look at Bruce, and at T should... No, nope, that's not working. I'm going to do J really quick. Come here. And then a U, so everyone chills. All right, everyone's chilling again. Here we go. Yeah, the sun's coming out. This will be a perfect time for you guys to see him now. But as you can see, he's absolutely massive, and when you shove him in here, he won't fit in the water. But he's not, like, dying or anything. He's fine. But uh, that face, though, that face is a face that only a mother can love. But as you can see, we got him. We got him. It was an easy tame. It was quite fun getting him um, trapped in the cave. That was kind of a cool part of it. After that, it was uh, pretty easy. Didn't take too many arrows. He's not a super high level of 53. 
I think when we got him down, he was a 30. So he woke up pretty quickly. An easier tame than that Spino, though, I'll tell you that, uh, with that times 10 um, taming I have on. But that's the episode for the day, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Appreciate all the support lately. This will be up as a replay if you're interested in seeing the full episode over there on Lagging Live. Make sure you check out my main YouTube channel. Put up a Call of Duty Zombies custom zombie video today with the one and only Mr. Dalek JD. So you go check that out. And tomorrow we'll be streaming some of the forest. I'm going to add some more mods to keep making this a little more fun. And there's an entire new map that I want to try out as well, which is a chain of islands. And we can super mod that up. But I want to add a couple more fun mods to this before we wrap this series. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for hanging out. And I'll see you on the next stream. Goodbye. Love ya. I don't really love you. I admire you all, though. Goodbye.